Hey, 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 hey. Oh, What's up, world? It's so great to be Hello. here. Hello. Taylor's here, too. He's just making us drinks. Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Taylor's not here. He's not here. Really Someone's going to have to prove it to me. What's up, everyone? Welcome to uh, episode one of Expedition Dracana. This is a a fate uh, fantasy game based in a a basically a Dungeons and Dragons esque fantasy world. Um, Thank you, Taylor. Watch. Uh, and this game will be a, a scientific expedition in, into the unknown. I'll maybe get into the pitch in a moment. Real quick, thanks to uh, Freyanator for four months in a row subscri- subscription. Woo! Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! Do you have to resubscribe? You do. Every month? Okay, so I haven't been doing that. <laughs> so you at home probably haven't been doing that. I also, I also have not been doing that, even though I know it, because I always forget to do it. That's kind of... They don't just let you... S- do you get to choose a different subscription every month, then? Well, basically, you have to just pop back into the room Because I thought when you were streaming. locked in forever. Uh, that's that's like, like, do you want to resubscribe? I'm, actually, like, yeah. I'm just always actually in the room, not in the... I'm always doing it on my room. phone, so I don't think it's an option from the phone, but whatever the case. No, I'll just power, the more you know. Yep, there you go. Resubscribe um, every day. These birds are lovely. Don't forget mm-hmm. to smash that like button. Keith, can we have the chat up here? <laughs> I can subscribe. Yeah, sorry. No problem. Yeah, the birds. We missed Dude, y'all in December, nice, by the way. Nice birds playing at the moment. What's wrong with my hair? This looks That's fine. great. I don't stop, trust stop it. I can't trust it. Should we start with introducing our uh, ourselves and our characters? Would that be a good? Yes. Uh, yeah, I think both of those things would be great. Um, who wants to start? Who wants to introduce themselves? I think Keith should Shall start. I start? Yeah. I think Keith should start. He's at the front. Oh, it's Fetic. Oh, I don't know. Please <laughs> play. Um, I am Keith R. Potempa. I'm an author and educator of science fiction and fantasy and the lead designer of the Heroes Guild RPG. Um, and co-founder of Material Components, this place that you are at right now. You can find me at social media is posted in the chat. And, uh, yeah. Also a coffee wizard. And your character? And my character is Furla, the mystical tundra dryad in search of her home grove, the grove where she was born from. I need to fix that on my on my high concept. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> home grove. But yes, Furla was raised from a seed by a by a witch in a village in the far north that we are journeying to, and then was cast out by the villagers that the witch lived near the village because they discovered that she was raising some curse of the land, some kind of foul plant mm-hmm. creature and so they drove Furla <coughs> out of town and Furla uses they them pronouns because Furla is a genderless plant mm-hmm. cool Furla has all genders oh is this no this is your uh... yes makes sense you could have both pistol and stamen true and Furla is protected by her um, main NPC, the Snow Vine, which is a... Uh, what's the high concept on that over there, Josh? <laughs> um, carnivorous burrowing, burrowing Vine Snake. Yes, which yeah. was, was oh, yeah. wrapped around me as a seed, and it has vowed itself in its non-sentience to protect me until the end of our days, and we are both the same creature somehow sick (laughs) and that's me all right uh i can go next uh i am uh, i am eric hillman uh i am a uh composer and producer uh most recently uh composed the score for the video game ashen that just came out last month um the score is awesome by the way thank you Mm -hmm. yeah thank you i've been listening to it and enjoying it dope Awesome. Uh, and I'm watching it on, on Twitch, people oh, streaming it and whatnot. Nice. Yeah, the music is so, yeah, ambient and, awesome. and dreadful at that. times. That's really cool. Yeah, it was like, uh, it was a big one. It was about two years of work. What did you say, hundred, hundreds of hours? 300 mm-hmm. minutes of music 
in game total. Minutes, yeah. 300 oh, minutes. It's just a lot of crazy. Several hours. Yeah, yeah. Several yeah. Several hours multiple hours multiple albums that yeah. were like music albums. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like the soundtrack alone music is like two and, and a half hours long. Yeah. Yeah. But, so, uh, that's, that's me. Um, my character is... Oh, I'm also new to the table. This is my first... Yeah. This is my first time. A new, new game component. Experience. Eric, Eric, Eric. Uh, <laughs> so I, if I have zero idea what to do, then that's the reason. Uh, my character's named Ash Telesson. He is a, a, a human um, mage. He's a, my high aspect is a, he's a gifted young dracologist looking to prove himself. Mm. Uh, he is a uh, studier of dragons and dragon history but also an evocation mage um, gifted from a young age coming from a uh, uh, very well renowned and highly regarded family um, so continually uh, sort of trying to find a way to prove himself apart from just his family name um, and also uh, a bit of an alcoholic uh, mm. he uses, mm. uh, uses alcohol to function so he's sort of is at a point where he yeah, gets, gets a little gets a little shaky without. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I will be joined by my sister Tay, who is an enchantress, uh, also highly regarded and well liked, very popular. Um, so, the sort of the opposite of of Ash himself. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it for me. Awesome. I'll go, Daniel. I am uh, known on the internet as Wordplay. Um, I am a software developer, and um, I like to bartend in my free time and watch billions of hours of anime. Um, You're getting caught up on One Piece. I'm almost done. There's I'm billions a, of hours right now. I'm there. actually really I'm in the middle of three <laughs> different ones right now. It's bad. So, no, I finished Attack on Titan. That's great. I'm down to two. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, <laughs> Mark that off. Until next <laughs> Um I am going to be playing a character I'm extremely excited about and I put a lot of energy into. Uh, his name is Yurik Milksmith. He is a descendant of the Milksmiths, who are literally smithies of milk. Um, their generation have... Uh, raised goats uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years in the Frost Forge, which is a dwarven kingdom, and uh, have made very hardy dwarves who uh, give off the most beautiful, delicious milk. Mm. And uh, even when the females are not uh, of with child, do they give mm. this milk off? It is very impressive. Uh, yeah. after the Are we still talking about yes. goats? Or... Hmm? Are we still talking about goats? Yes. Okay. We're talking about goats. <laughs> yeah, sure. well, I got a little There's going to be a lot of goats. We're going to be talking a lot about goats, mm -hmm. Taylor. Buckle up. <laughs> 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 Woo! Anyway, uh, Milksmith is a. Uh, Yurik is a, a gentle, uh, kind soul. He owns the Milksmith farm and is just. Um, <clears throat> And an adventure seeker and lover. He's getting into the age at which uh, his father actually passed away, and it's he's made enough money, and he's ready for to see some fucking adventure. Mm -hmm. So he's he's after it with this Dracana trip. And his NPC, Kalima, the uh, matriarch of all of his goats. Mm -hmm. She's also a bit uh, on in her years, so he felt it was it was there are other. Uh, goats who can lead the pack at this point. And so Kalima is coming with to provide sustenance and um, a strong answer. head. <laughs> yeah. A milking goat. A strong head, mm -hmm. but... What a, what a great main NPC for uh, expedition. Kalima. The yes. goat. 
<laughs> but from a long line of uh, milking y- goats. Oh, and the best part she is, is a m- majestic the... Caprine matriarch. Yes. is her high yep. aspect. I mean, it's serious. <laughs> uh, my aspect, serious my main talk. aspect is um, a battle chef. Of uh, he is a cook as well, mm-hmm. um, and that's what he mostly will be doing for the party. Other than uh, he uses his the lid of his like almost two foot sized cast iron pan to battle like with as a as a shield shield bashing device so yeah cooking nice. milking things and bashing things perfect Cute. yes <laughs> uh sophie is playing an npc tonight but if you want to you can give like a brief description of of the npc that you're playing I, I feel like the high concept does it justice. And, and also, and also, you yourself, Sophie, uh, am, the internet ghost. Person, and here I am, uh, standing <laughs> in here. for another person by the name of Hannah, who, um, who she has happens my to look genetic cock. She happens to look a lot like her. Yeah. Yes. Um, they actually and, share thoughts, so it's not going to be even noticed. That, that, that <laughs> we have the same bond. Have a psionic bond. I have no comments on this. <laughs> <laughs> like I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Um, GMOs, man. GMOs. I'm telling you. But I will be playing <laughs> Navius Negricor tonight, who is mm. the bodyguard Negricor. of Hannah's character, um, <clears throat> Lanji Vri, who is the sponsor of this bold expedition. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, loyal body- bodyguard, venerable court swordmaster, on in years, in the perhaps winter of my days. Hannah says, uh, twin mind can can verify. One out of one twin mind. <laughs> one for one. Uh, so? Uh, Taylor. Uh, so I'm, I'm Taylor Carroll. Uh, I am a artist and also do some IT stuff as well and a resident jokester, whether or not that is for good or for evil. <laughs> Uh, it's always for good. Yeah. I was going to say something that was not that. <laughs> <laughs> always for evil. evil. Always for evil. Always for evil. Yeah. <laughs> it's always both. It's, it's always it's always perfectly on the line and then just goes a little too far. Uh, so I will be playing uh, Alexi L. Girard. Um, he is a ex-military um, turned sellsword. Uh, he's a little bit older in his years. Not quite, you know... Um, not quite in like his 40s, probably more like late 30s. Mm-hmm. Um, he has a... For medieval times, that's getting up there. Yeah, maybe, actually maybe early 40s, to be honest with you. So he mm-hmm. has a fully grown son um, who was concerned with uh, the nature of, of these dragons and uh, I believe probably ran across a book that... Um, Eric, is that is that true? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, Eric's character uh, Ash. may have oh, Ash Ash. Ash. may have no, not this Eric. run mm-hmm. across before as well, um, and ran off on a previous expedition that uh, unfortunately no one has heard from since. Mm. Um, and so Alexi also has a ex-wife that. Um, went off to try to find their son as well and she was neither seen nor heard from again either uh so after kind of putting his head in the sand uh for as long as he could uh after some encouraging uh from a a couple friends back at home uh struck out on his own to finally make the trek uh what she considered a foolish suicide mission um that really was not worth the effort, especially in terms of uh, when you could be dealing with matters domestically that are, in his opinion, were more important, but uh, he is finally at his breaking point, and so he has uh, set off with um, a group on an expedition of his own, uh, hoping to find out what has happened to his family. So high concept, uh, rugged sellsword in search of family, Mm -hmm. Uh, accompanied by the ever lovable um ever gaffable uh jimothy uh you have a last name do we write croissant 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 you forget yeah i have a lot of backstories croissant croissant so anyways jimothy it's hard to remember because jimothy is also the name of my robot now my my roomba 
Awesome. Uh, Perfect. So I have been cracking up about Jimothy Christopherson all week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now imagining him being played by Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> <laughs> So Jimothy Chrysanthrasen uh, mm-hmm. is a, as far as Alexi is concerned, that guy is a healer. Um, he his power comes from uh, the gods and is able to uh, cure any wound and is given this poor, hapless, very superstitious uh, cell sword some hope in trying to find his family. In actuality. Uh, Jimothy, who that may not even be his real name. <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, uh, I don't think that's very no. clear. And especially that Chris Offerson, yeah, I think, was, yeah. was walking by with croissants when the, when someone cornered him and went about his name. Like, Chrysanthrasen. It sounds like a completely legitimate name that any self-respecting person would be wild. Like Bobbert? Yes. Exactly like Bobbert. So anyways, Jimothy Chrysanthrasen. Not Christopherson, Croissant. Yeah. Person, uh, in actuality, is a uh, hapless snake oil salesman who has always been very good with his words and, and convincing people. Um, <laughs> you could consider, I forget what the actor's name is, the guy from Catch, Catch Me If You Can. But, anyways, it doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, that guy um, has Alexi completely fooled. I don't know how well that will be for the rest of the party, <laughs> but he will be our resident uh, healer on our trek, um, helping to patch us up with wounds um, as we counter them. Uh, he will be providing his sacred uh, oils and ointments <laughs> that were provided and conjured by the gods themselves. And what is his trouble? Uh, what he's is a pathological it? liar. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. He's living a, so living his a lie. Main, right? His main, his main, main aspect is he's a snake oil the, priest that's in only, over his head. Yeah, over his head. <laughs> so, so, so all of his lies and various lies have led him to this point now where he is having to go on this horrible trek <laughs> because, into the unknown. Because if he li- if he fesses up about his lies, mm-hmm. uh, Alexi will totally wring his neck for, for fucking with him and dealing mm. with, uh, wanna, or playing with his emotions. I want to believe that his name is the only true thing about it. <laughs> it's actually Border <laughs> Ray. It, it actually is Tim- <laughs> It's actually Timothy, but it's, he just changed it to mm. Timothy. The mm. last name is still true though. Because he can't Chris help it. <laughs> lie Chris about it. Person. Also, so yeah, uh, uh, in, in too deep. Hate that guy. Well done. I don't know if you want to want to talk about our, our dog either, but <laughs> uh, we're gonna get into mind. supporting NPCs and, and nameless NPCs next week. Cool. Um, well, that's that's Jimothy and that's Alexi. Awesome. Sweet. Uh, great, Josh. Great, great chairs yourself. Yeah, I am Josh Unruh. I am a uh, barista, and I am the as we see here in the chat. I'm the founder of the Heroes Guild. Uh, which many of us at the table uh, participate in in one way or another. Um, it's a, a program teaching kids how to play um, Dungeons and Dragons and a game that Keith and I have created, the Heroes Guild RPG, uh, which is teaching like positive morality and nonviolent conflict resolution. So teaching some good positive lessons to kids, uh, and we've we've uh, we just finished year two in Nashville of doing this program. Four seasons, four worlds in peril that had to be saved by an epic <coughs> team of uh, probably have worked with 200 kids or something at this mm-hmm. point now. Um, and it's just been an awesome experience. Uh, and I am also a, a, a dungeon master of, in many many places, mm-hmm. uh, including this table here for this game, Expedition Dracona, for which I should give you the audience the pitch. We've heard of these wonderful characters that were all made for a mission. Um, a wealthy patron has offered up a vast fortune of money to the first team of adventurers to uh, to make it to the North Pole of, <coughs> of a fantasy world that I have created. Um, and this... Uh, nobody has ever been to the North Pole. And not only will they be traveling to the North Pole, um, a place that has never been... that they have never been before, but every seven years in my world, a uh, dragon flight, a massive migration of dragons happens where dragons appear from 
um, from the f far sides of the globe. Uh, have you got that? Is that live there? Keith is queuing up the map. There's my world. Here it is. Damn. Uh, this world is uh, surrounded by rings like Saturn. And the map is pole centric. So if you can imagine this map is in the very center is the North Pole. Um, and and around it far far you know a ways off in space are these rings like Saturn's rings uh, so from beyond the ring line from beyond the equator all of these dragons fly up presumably to the North Pole because they fly basically beyond the the vision of of people and beyond the sight of the gods and then they're there for some time and then they fly back um, dragons are uh, just th they're not intelligent um, like speaking creatures like in Dungeons and Dragons they're pretty much just uh, bestial hyper intelligent like predatory like cats kind of um, and they uh, this migration that happens every year is a great plight on the land so this this uh, wealthy patron that is offering this up is in some ways in hopes of finding some information about what the deal is with the dragon flight and can this um, can this migration be changed or can they be moved to somewhere else potentially uh, and so many expeditions are being formed to attempt to claim this fortune not only the expedition which uh, the characters which were just described but other expeditions funded by um, nobles and uh, clerical orders and bardic colleges and so on to try to get in on the opportunity at fame of being somewhere that has been uh, never been seen before and to potentially learn earth-shattering, uh, history-shattering revelations when they're there, which I have promised for my players. Um, I feel like that's pretty much the pitch. Yeah. It is. Uh, it is sure to be um, survival horror is the genre that I was kind of trying to tap into when I was writing um, this campaign. So, so we have a. It will. It will end up having a large cast of characters today. We'll just have like main NPCs along with our PCs. But in the future, we'll have supporting NPCs, we'll have nameless NPCs. Uh, they will be dying off. We'll be using the mechanics from the, the Fate uh, Horror Toolkit um, uh, to, uh, to simulate a survival game. Um, ration, f food and like water and supplies as you travel to the frozen north milk over water in a mediev medieval expedition <laughs> yeah. yeah but you probably got to get enough water to keep the goat milking right no you feed no. the goat magic. the milk that it milked it <laughs> just like it, water opening a water well right perpetual milk machine yes. so Love much it. milk talk <laughs> um <laughs> so with that milk casting your characters have all been summoned okay, let me queue up some some audio for us here some different sound effects um, on my sirenscapes. Should we take a look at the terrain oh, while we're at? So hey, dude, yeah, should we? That's perfect. Are we going to be rolling this from now on? Or are we oh, absolutely. The, the gravity will. It's time for the gravity will. But since it's a fate... Uh, no, we scenario. still roll it. Yeah. We don't want to do the, the golden balls. The golden... Go with six sided die. Well, no, that's not really. Doesn't really. That doesn't really make sense. But okay. we should roll the gravity well, though. We we kind of determined at a certain point that it just needed to be a twenty. It needed to be the twenty sided die. Regardless of what system, it, it still pulls lesser die toward it. Yeah, the gravity well. In case you're wondering. I'd like to read it. Taylor always reads it. Holy shit, you got a button for it? Yeah, you do it. Yeah. The Gravity Well is an artifact of legend and ritual at the MC table. As ex an excessively large die, it presents effects the <laughs> yep. results of yep. lesser die, like a gravity well. And at the beginning of every session, <laughs> it is rigidly rolled by one player at a time. When a result is deemed to be satisfactory, a bird is placed upon it to seal the magic in place. The higher this result, the greater the player's luck will be for the session. 
So behaves the magic of the gravity well. <laughs> I'm gonna burn out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put a bears. What do you want to like to do with the honors? Kirby in a hoodie knows how this oh, goes. First yeah. roll. Where do new, new guy? Where do I roll this? Roll. First roll in that twenty. Roll it. Don't knock over anything though, or you will accrue a minus one. Yeah, on it's terrible. Mm-hmm. Don't do it near the trees. Right. They fucking dominate the, the don't trees. Don't listen to the pressure. Eh? <laughs> All right. You right. I'm gonna try. I'm going to do. Woo! Oh, 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 a seventeen. Bird, please. Bird, please. Do you want to put a bird on that? I'm not gonna read. Yeah, where's the bird? I'm good with putting a bird on that. Josh could re-roll it. Can we put a mind flare on it? Oh, you re-roll it so we have a a number we're happy with? (laughs) Don't even give him ideas. Well, I mean, to beat a 17 is statistically unlikely. I'm not gonna re-roll that. I want a 17. If it's above a 15, I'm not touching it. Do you want to put the bird on it? I do since want to roll this is a crier. I know this is a gr- aggressive crier. Wait, wait, do you, wait, <laughs> Keith, are you getting the camera set up for this? Yeah, yeah. Should we wait so that Love we can him. witness the activation. The because it's oh, oh, oh wait, the light, the light is is making Uh-oh. a glare. We got a oh, goodness, that glare. I think that I could do that. Mm. Yeah, it's the light. It's from a seventeen. Just oh, trust us. There you go. Seventeen. The bird. A bird has been placed upon it. I love this fucking owl. Hell yeah. And thus, thus the magic. <sighs> the crier wants the gravity well re roll. Re roll! Kirby. <laughs> Kirby, do you want to roll it? Ugh. Would you like to roll? If only you were here. You can roll for me, Kirby. I think it's. The uh, luck is sealed. I think it's exclamation point D20. The cast has. Wait, no. The die has been cast. <laughs> yep. Kirby, you can roll for me if you want. Gross. Don't re-roll it, Kirby. That's a 10. That sucks. Well, that, that didn't count. No. I was just testing the command. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that next time I roll a bad roll. Oh, testing. a 12. Is it too late? I'm it sorry. Is. A bird has been placed on it. I think the, bir- the bird's I'm on. sorry. I placed a bird. I spoke preemptively. I the, did not the do it The bird locked it in place. Yeah, next no time. Mulligans. Next time, maybe, but... Maybe we could have a policy of uh, of everyone in the chat can roll for the gravity well. I don't know if I trust them. <laughs> no. I, I'm going to have to reply with nothing personal, kid. <laughs> I'll trust him with we'll, almost we'll everything. Ex- oh, no, the curry curse does. <laughs> oh, curse. Is it a canvas curse? <laughs> Since it's like a Kirby. Curse you. Oh. <laughs> Curse. A hex, plague, a hex on, on your on family. Both of your houses, not just one. <laughs> okay, so all of your characters, mm. Uh, mm. you are all aware of, of this uh, expedition, and you have been summoned by... Uh, I don't know, does she go by... Well, so Longi. Mm-hmm. Longi. I don't know if I had if, if I remember Ma- if Longi is a male or female. Female. Is it okay, Madame, so Madame Longi... Free? Um, yeah, madam. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what is her title? You have been Lady Free. Hannah said goes by Longi. Oh, yeah, she's in the chat. Right. (laughs) Goes by Longi. Um, Longi has summoned all of you uh, to her estate, which is in Othelium, which is where the... He's an aggressive crier. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Sirenscape is doing all this... uh, Sounds. All these sounds. Thanks, Sirenscape. Be sure to throw us something free. I Thanks mean, for the cool I mean, we sounds. we pay for it, but hey, throw us some Josh. <laughs> We're definitely fun. sorry, Josh. Go ahead. Uh, has summoned you all here, um, where which is where the uh, expedition. It's it's the start line, right? Think of this like the uh, the Amazing Race. It's a medieval version of the Amazing Race uh, with dragons. So all of the crews will be starting from the same place. Is not, it sort not of seen as a competition in that them, way? But that it's sort of like... <laughs> yeah, but mainly because this person has offered up this huge fortune, and so okay. there's a bunch of teams that are all, and they're kind of designating some sort of a start okay. for it. So oh, it Othelium is, is the start? Yeah, of Othelium, Othelium yeah. yeah. Um, I gotta pull this out of the oven real oop, quick. Oop, wait. Get oh, that money. Oh, oh. Oh, that wasn't what I was trying wait, wait, to do. Wait, wait, Lady Vree. Lady Vree at first. But you yeah. say, call me Longy. Call me Longy. I feel like... I, I don't know if I'd ever feel comfortable with that. <laughs> I like two immediate opposite <laughs> reactions. Yeah. Right. Here's Othelium at the beginning Lady of our Vree journey. <laughs> Lady Vree for me. Amazing race style hijinks. I love it. 
pranked by evil ghosts and, and undead. <laughs> we need a team name. This camera is aggressively taken over. T uh, All right, team, there we go. Team, uh, 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 team Titan? No. This is the entire journey that we're looking to face on, on Josh's uh, incredible vast map. And you can see... Uh, you can see our token at the uh, very bottom there oh, in sick. red um, at Othelium um, and the path in red leading up to the uh, to the North Pole. Gorgeous. Did, you, did you guys do like a, a process video about how you guys made that map? Or? Ooh. I, I got a lot of that process from a tutorial that I found online. You could totally talk about your process. Uh, I I made the the base of that map years ago and have basically forgotten how I have done it because I was following a step by step tutorial and also manipulating it along the way and then mm -hmm. I got it where I liked it and then I never repeated the process. Hmm. I'm all about like helping people with things, but I, I fear that I would basically be no help in that <laughs> regard at all. <laughs> and in that map, that map is is absolutely massive and has taken so many years that I just don't even know anymore. Literally, just don't even know. Um, it's but it's been though. it's it's been a labor yeah. of love, totally. Um, and and I've told probably I don't know eighty sessions or something of various campaigns in this world. So this is just another yet another story. Eighty, the same eighty, nice. yeah. Oh, shit. Um, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and oh. and uh, a reminder of what the uh, the whole world is that image, and it gets to the level of detail that this does. At any particular point <laughs> in space, so on the cool. entire world, it is a, uh, a massive. So we're map. looking at the no basically down from the North Pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's an image that uh, frequently crashes computers when opened. Yeah, <laughs> it's so massive. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Cool. Yep. Um, so you guys have all been summoned to this estate. And uh, I don't know really who's showing up first or who's showing up with whom. Um, but you all, at one point or another, show up at the Vri. We could all describe our arrivals. Sure. If that would be cool. Sure, yeah. You show up. Okay, I mean, who wants to show up first? They show up at the Vri. There's nobody there to see, to see them. But Me and Jimothy will, will stroll right You up. and Jimothy, yeah. Absolutely. I need a mini for Jimothy, and I was like, I have no idea what Jimothy <laughs> looks like. <laughs> he has red hair. If was this, is this not Jimothy right there? No, I think that no, was... That, I had grabbed me. that one for his character. Yeah, uh, that's Alexi. And who's uh, this this Jimothy here with this wolf <laughs> Jimothy needs to look a little bit more snively. How about this? Uh, I love this sword. He looks the back. too cool, though. Taylor, you're picky. Can it just be this guy? Pick a guy who's like a merchant. <laughs> I mean, is mm. there a guy who looks like a merchant? How about like this guy here? Uh, yeah, I'll go with that. That's fine. I kind of ex I, I saw him almost more like this guy. Go for it. Can I yeah. can this be Jimothy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, hell more, yeah. The more pompous, the better. Okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, guy, that definitely <laughs> looks like it. That guy's definitely the... pompous. <laughs> yeah. Nice yeah, cap and everything. For sure. Jimothy. Yeah. For sure. Should we get a little um, um, view of like our crew kids? here? So Jimothy's so you... just leading the way, sauntering up, uh, yeah. um, talking about his latest adventures that he went on prior to this. Obviously, all, all of them all pretty outlandish, but... Um, that's, he's just talking about how, oh, yeah, there's this giant, you know, uh, two, two giant goblin bat-looking creatures. I don't know what was going on, but, you know, he's just going on and on about this and how he single-handedly, like, defeated both of them using his wit and his strength. Yes, yes, the pathological wire is yeah, just going and on I'm, and on. I'm kind of uh, buying it a little bit. I'm like, oh, man, this guy's pretty good. I'm so mm -hmm. glad. I'm like... But you also just I'm let him so, talk. Yeah, I'm letting him talk. I'm not really, like, <laughs> interrupting, but I'm... It's a little bit annoying, but also at the same time, I'm just like, I am glad I brought this guy along. <laughs> this is gonna be a journey. You love this. Uh, you love this guy. Mm -hmm. I rolled the nat one. It's great. <laughs> so you show up. Nat one in discernment. <laughs> you show up at the house um, and, and uh, knock on the door, and a, uh, a essentially a butler answers the door. 
Yes, hello. So. <laughs> oh, who am I, am I here to meet Lady, or, or as far as you know, yeah, you're here to meet uh, Longy. Oh, okay. Well, Longy Free. Okay. Mm-hmm. Lady so Free. So I go to to open my mouth, but actually, uh, Jimothy <laughs> interrupts <laughs> me and cuts me off immediately. <laughs> I think Kirby's right that Jimothy is actually the <laughs> crier, the is the aggressive sirenscape crier. <laughs> no, I'm not. Do you speak for for? I'm Timothy? awesome. <laughs> Even though he's he, he's cutting me off in this case. Um, yeah, so I thought about this just a little bit. I think in general, you guys speak for your NPCs, unless it's a situation where you're needing to speak to them or something, in which case I will, but I think otherwise I'm cool with you guys. Otherwise, it's weird situations of me speaking as an NPC, speaking to another NPC of me, yeah. and then I'm what having if we conversation role play with myself. Or, uh, we and then roll... we all leave. And then exactly. just sort of sit here and talk just to sitting here talking to myself. myself. <laughs> I'd like to avoid that if possible. I think we should role play our main NPCs, but maybe you role play our supporting and nameless. Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted to be the dog. <laughs> Minus three. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll so this is going to be you half the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You're ready for it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so Alexi okay. starts to um, speak up and I'm like, oh, excuse me, sir. And then uh, uh, immediately, Jimothy is like, excuse me, sir. He steps in front. <laughs> Just like completely pushes him back. <laughs> excuse me, fine, sir. Um, uh, we are looking for Madame Free. If you do not mind, is she, she in this fine afternoon? Lady Vree is absent, but she is expecting you, and we have the dining hall set up for you and your other guests. Oh, perfect. Will there be drinks and food served? I am quite peckish myself, and I'm sure my friend here yes, is quite peckish himself. Of so only the finest. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And, uh, where might this food be? I, I'm with both so tired, and we'd love to sit down and rest our feet. <laughs> well, right, right this way. So. <laughs> All right, I think um, as you guys are about to walk into the house, I think uh, Furla arrives on the street wearing a uh, the equivalent of a cloak uh, made of like burlap. Is totally a un- unflattering, very like road road worn. Like at places is like frayed and and whatnot, but has this has this thick um, gnarled wooden staff <coughs> that is walking with uh, that seems like at times is even like it's made of made of like a bunch of vines that have been like tightly wound together and it seems even at moments is like squeaking and shifting about um, and arrives with a with a hood uh, low over their eyes and uh, just lingers awkwardly as the, cr- yeah. as the crowds are like <laughs> is just like staring I stand. <laughs> staring and watching this transpire the, the butler shows you into the dining room which is just off so we've got we've got the door here Ooh. so the butler answers the door for this noble is standing yes and and the dining room is here so so you're so you're yeah. uh, Jimothy's this, making a beeline for that food Jimothy yeah. and and then as uh, Alexi walks by he briefly is like I apologize for my uh, companion he's Test- quite excited for this adventure testing the limits of our uh, <laughs> No, no problem, sir. No problem in the slightest. It's my nice. pleasure to entertain. <laughs> that thing's gonna fall down. Yes, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right. Perhaps we bring it out when it does. Well, um, he 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 turns around and and sees Furla standing in the doorway. That's <laughs> gonna work. And he's like, "Yes, may I help you?" No, it's not gonna work. Oh my, it's great. I, I said, may I help you? <laughs> I'm here to see Lady Vree. Oh, yes. She's expecting company. She's not here, but please, step into the dining room. We have a great feast laid out for you. She, she steps up close to him, and the uh, the staff, like, s- starts to lengthen a little bit, like the vines are unraveling a little bit as if it's going to lunge for him. <laughs> she pulls back. Fur- Furla moves it away and, like, steps past, like, holding it at a distance away from the butler. Please. 
<laughs> steps back like a wide ways away from you, but shows you <laughs> your way in. The rest of you show up. Uh, I feel like um, I would show up with Tay. Uh, or Tay would show up exactly at whatever time is currently most fashionable to arrive at things. So maybe four and a half minutes late past yeah, the time. Yeah, fashionably of a, late. Just fashionably late, mm -hmm. breezing up to the door, no problem. But Ash is sort of keeping a little bit behind, sort mm -hmm. of following on her coattails, as it were. Uh, freezes in the doors. Oh, aren't you just a dear? Please show me to the room. Uh, I, th I feel like she uh, she's familiar with... Uh... <coughs> How do you pronounce your name? Uh, she just goes by your, Tay. Your last name? Talesson. Talesson. Oh, oh yes. Lord and Lady Talesson. Mm. Thank you. And I feel like she's familiar with Longy, so she's like, uh, Longy should be expecting us. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll show ourselves in. So she... And, and she's like, Ash... Come now. As I sort of... And as you guys are led into the dining room... Saunter behind. Uh, and, the, and those before. In the dining room waiting for you is the character that Sophie is playing. Navius, right? Navius. He's going to be on the table. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the, the most anybody would have gotten when they injured was a to Brown. In fact, you might not have noticed Navia standing there before. He would make no motion to greet you and would probably be kind of like Druid Move hiding right around yeah. this corner. <laughs> Just like standing against the wall. One could mistake him for a suit of armor. <laughs> if one were so inclined. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Just Suit imagine of Patrick I thought I heard just some Obama. Him. So, um, <laughs> Yurik would pull up in a very small wagon, uh, covered wagon. You can hear the janglings of uh, pots and pans and other cooking utensils knocking against each other um, on, a, on this old rickety thing that's pulled by a very hearty looking goat. Um, Col Colima's pulling the wagon. Oh please. hell yeah! <laughs> this goat's legs are thicker than your thighs. Like Dang. this thing is mean looking. Like she doesn't even care either. She absolutely. Uh, it's, I really want someone to. It's the make same. A draw a picture of this goat. It takes the same amount of strength for her to move the cart as it is to walk regularly. Like she's a, a hoss. And so Yurik gets out and. <laughs> Humbly walks she trains up. with leg weights. Laws of physics do not apply to this goat. No. Yeah, sounds <laughs> no, about right, actually. No laws apply to this goat. <laughs> physics, biology. Knocks on the door. <laughs> uh, opens up and clearly, like, looking up high to, like, look over you and then down. No, oh, no, <laughs> Master Dwarf. Uh, yes. Uh, I believe I've been called to this residence. It's rather large. I I've, uh, never set foot in some place quite like this. Yes, for the Lady of Reem. Uh, we yeah, we uh, have been expecting you. Excellent. <coughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I feel I'm a bit late. It is no problem. The others have been waiting, though. <laughs> Oh, nice. Uh, a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, but not to worry, I have kept them well fed. <laughs> Excellent. And their thirst quenched. Uh, then, uh, yes, I, I believe I can leave my goat out here with my things for now. As in, like, kick <laughs> someone who's passing by? <laughs> <laughs> He does the thing of like look, the looking out of the door <laughs> and seeing your goat there, and it's just got its weird eye looking at him. Oh, it's just staring at him. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Goat eyes are the weirdest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're good at that. Thanks. From the uh, oh man, what was the old um, Saturday Night Live skit of Goat Boy? that Jim Brewer used to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I used to do that. <laughs> that goat voice a lot. Um. Yes, please. Please come in. Uh, thank you. And your goat, I believe, will be fine there. <clears throat> I'll come in. You guys all join in the dining room. Take the nearest seat. Furla is just looking over the food a little apathetically, but their uh, staff 
repeatedly reaches out a little tendril, <laughs> like grabs hold of a chicken leg and yanks it. And it's just... <laughs> Wait, Ash immediately found the bar and uh, found himself a corner, mm-hmm. corner of the room. There is some very, very nice wine. Yeah, that's, that's his favorite part so far. Mm-hmm. Is there a bar area? Sure. Because I would, uh, I, I think Alexi would be hanging out. Of sure. course, there's a bar. Oh, sure. <laughs> also, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I feel like uh, Ash would have grabbed a drink and then moved away. <laughs> he would not linger. He would not linger. Uh, he's, he's definitely hanging out. This, this Kirby comment. <laughs> the next person who arrives finds a goat in <laughs> Butler's clothing with blood <laughs> splattered across it. Who says that it has been expecting them? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Guys, if Kamima ever kicks it on this thing, I mean. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I think everyone's gonna cry. <laughs> going to stop watching. I think, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna quit the end. Uh, yeah, in general. <laughs> We're all just gonna retire. Mm-hmm. It was a good run. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Any consequence that should go to Kalima should transfer to Kimothy. Uh, I don't uh, see that again, but here we are. If I can pick on poor Jimothy, man. I love it. W- just... w- would you like to, to kind of like lead the conversation with the information that I told you, or do you want me to do it? Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, I. we could see how I do it. You could still live. Yeah. I, don't know. I would give exactly... Everyone is here now. 17 so. minutes for the dwarf to eat. And at that <laughs> the point, <dwarf. laughs> I would come to life. <laughs> um, <clears throat> seems we're all assembled in a fashion, not a timely one. <laughs> Introductions perhaps are in order. I will start. I am Lady Bree's bodyguard. That is all you required. <laughs> <laughs> End of my Jimothy Jim- is, is completely caught off guard. It's like, Spectre! Foul spirit! Be gone! He's like throwing salt at you. And it's <laughs> Please save our resources. I'm sure we need everything we have for the journey ahead. <laughs> Uh, I guess Alexi uh, uh, calms, calms his friend down and introduces himself. So, um, I, I pardon, I pardon my uh, companions. Um, unexpected reaction. You, uh, you startled us. I am mm. Alexi Gerard. It's good to make your acquaintance. Where is uh? Lady Bree. Lady Bree has gone ahead to make preparations in the city and has left me with the task of seeing that we arrive there in a timely fashion. Very well. Uh, I feel like Tay would introduce herself. Um, well, I am, of course, Tay Telesson, uh, and this is my brother Ash, um, <laughs> our dragon boy. Uh, <laughs> dragon uh, boy? Yes, I mean, he's here for the dragons, uh, but I'm so uh, Are happy to all meet all not your acquaintance. Here for the dragons? I'm here for Lanji, really. Mm. <laughs> uh, You'll find that position already occupied. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Burn! <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she smiles and uh, she's done <laughs> done with uh, her uh, goes back to her drink. <laughs> <coughs> well, uh, my name is Milksmith of the Frostforge. Uh, yes, in fact. Milksmith. Who does not know the Milksmith name? <laughs> It is indeed one of note. Uh, I am just one of many uh, who claim. It is most unfortunate that I have an allergy to goat's milk and have never been able to enjoy any of your, I'm told, fine products. You're missing out. Let me tell you. (laughs) Unfortunately, I believe, though, I could uh, potentially whip up 
pretty delightful substitute made from soybean. <laughs> If you were interested. Furla of the White Nell Grove. That's, that's it. Is, is everyone in? I, he's, that seems to be like exactly what Nabius was looking for in an introduction. <laughs> yeah. A name. Yeah. Points. There's a lot of extra information here. You nailed Soil. it. Romantic advances. You guys all have the distinct <laughs> impression that you are being graded and that Thrilla is leading the class. Uh, Alexi crosses his arms. I find it uh, interesting that uh, Lady Vryu did not have the time for um, her compatriots who are all here on her behalf. What could be so important that would, uh, would cause her to delay in uh, showing up at this point in time? It is no delay, it is an expedited expedition. She has gone ahead to facilitate our expedient departure. And, uh, and where should we, should we meet her now? We've, we've only been given this one location time, as far as I know. That is where I come in. We're going to the name of the city that I totally know. <laughs> <laughs> Othelium? Yes. Uh, start, we, we're in Othelium oh, now right, right. and going to Gerseter Harbor. And you said it would be like a 10 day. A 10 day. Mm-hmm. To get there. That's a good name, a 10 day. That that is yeah. I, I actually looked it up earlier, and, and I have been using it, and I didn't realize that that actually is a like a Faerun specific, so Forgotten Realm specific term. I mean, I knew it obviously wasn't earthly, but I didn't realize that it was Forgotten Realm. So I'm totally just ripping off Forgotten Realms there and using the ten day as well, and and also the same similar calendar. Well, my calendar is totally different, but while I'm speaking about it, we should pull it up. Because oh, yeah. the calendar. Oh, <laughs> yeah, here's my calendar for my world. Uh, it, it has 12 months in it, effectively. The month is the outermost name. Um, those are the, that is the, like the clerical months, and then the the next ring in are the shaman seasons, uh, and and then the next ring in also has to do with the shaman. Uh, calendar, so it's a, a combination of the shamanistic and clerical calendars. So what day is it right now, Josh? It is the day b- before the departure. <laughs> the departure tomorrow will be... So today it is the 14th Sword of Summer's Descent. <laughs> Thank you, Hans. The, the, wait, pull up the calendar again, because it's important um, for the audience to know this. What day is it? When they're calculating on their own, that, that the calendar's read from, from the outside in. So if you can imagine we're in the yellow here. The 15th... So the 14th is going to be one mark before the, the middle of the month, right? It's, it's 30 days in a month. So the fourteenth sword of summer's descent, if you move from outside to in, is how you read this calendar. It is effectively, um, uh, let's see, is that July, August? Let's see. Best January, where do you, where do you think? March, yeah. April, May, June, Ju- July. I agree. Fourteenth. So mm-hmm. like right. Yeah. Right, right there. Before, yep. Exactly. Right before the. The fifteenth day is Daethelior's day, which is a holy day of, of one of the gods, the twelve oh, gods of Gothrilad, which is also the day of the departure. So you guys will be That's leaving right. on a holy day of one of the gods. Beautiful. Oh, mm. don't even get Jimothy started. <laughs> <laughs> on this day, on this day, oh, it's, it's such an important day, day to me and my people and my god. Uh, <laughs> um. Did you inform us that we're we're all going to be waiting here and then departing from this location overnight, or, or have you gotten up pretty good? Okay. Yeah, there there is residence there. You can stay in, in at the estate. There are plenty of rooms for everyone to stay at the estate if if you would like to. And and the um, uh, the departure is tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow afternoon, or something at high noon, is when the gun fires. High noon. 
for the for the race to take place. Draw. Other gardens in the estate. Yes, I would be happy to show them to you. I will stay in the gardens then. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> It's not normally allowed, but... <laughs> it's, uh, it's allowed here. If anyone else requires special accommodations, feel free to address them to the butler. Well, here we are. Not that we can do about it for a while. <laughs> Might as well sit down and enjoy ourselves. Make sure to miss the here, part here. where I, Hannah. <laughs> make sure to miss the part where I had the really giant pawn because that was <laughs> that was not intended. Working the calendars. <laughs> I like that aspect. So I missed it. <laughs> covered the entire calendar. Well, the pawn wasn't on that particular scene, so uh, when I added it, it was like that big, and I shrunk it down. And best it over season. There. 100% critical. <clears throat> awesome. Um, Keep watching. Yeah, so, so unless there's anything else that you guys want to do on, on this day, you guys have now meet, met in the place you know that uh, your sponsor of the expedition, the money, effectively, has traveled a- ahead, a 10-day ahead, to Garrisoner Harbor, where she is getting a ship lined up that you guys will be expecting to travel on, as well as um, uh, like wagons and and uh, beasts of burden and other NPCs. You guys built your nameless NPCs or yours They're supporting NPCs last week, which we'll be joining once we get there, as well as we'll we'll pick out the nameless ones and so, and, uh, so to to be equipment. clear about the difference, there is a sponsor who is like the money for that is charged everyone with the expeditions, and Longi in specific is for our Basic. expedition. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so somebody is is basically saying, I will pay you like millions of dollars if you go to this place and do this mm-hmm. thing. But they're not offering up any money to do it. Right. They're like, people have to step up and be like, I'm willing to fund this crazy expedition, mm-hmm. right? So it's going to be mostly these wealthy people or maybe organizations who, who have some reason to do it. Mm-hmm. It's an in- potential investment, right? Like, it might yeah. not pay off, but it yeah. could also pay off, like, hugely, right? It's a gamble. Back. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gamble. And, and, and she, along with several of the other... Um, uh, kind of aristocracy of the other expeditions uh, are are uh, along for the adventure because it is a big investment and they want to ensure that their money is uh, handled responsibly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, unless is there anything that you guys want to do the night before? Or just bed down and and be ready for I leaving like in the, the morning. Frost Forge is probably pretty far from this place. It's very far. Yeah. So I've been traveling well. Hannah noted Definitely. that it is a gamble, and Lanji hates to lose. Mm. Mm. Aspects. Aspects. Types. So I, I'd be interested in probably heading to bed. Nobody wants to play a game of cards or dice. Uh, I feel like much. Tay would, but yeah. Ash would not. I feel like. I also had that feeling. <laughs> unless, unless we are uh, sort of supposed to stay here, I feel like Ash would leave. No, yeah, you were just called into there to have the the meeting right. of like what the plan is. I'm already gone. <laughs> I'm already gone. Oh, I would make it clear. Before Heading to the I, bar, you're like. <laughs> I would definitely take Thrilla to the gardens personally, <clears throat> um, but before departing, Navius would make it clear. The hour of departure is absolute and non-negotiable. Anybody who is not prepared to leave will be left behind. I hope I have made myself understood. Tastes like, oh, that's so, that's so sweet. And the hour of departure is? High noon. High noon. Yeah. <sighs> is there a big, nice. big hoopla? A big, like, yeah. ceremony? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there is going to be for this one anyway. It's one of the events that's happening on Day Thelior's Day is, <clears throat> is the expeditions are leaving for this big thing that is now, like, probably become some public knowledge. Yeah. Well, Furla, when shown <clears throat> when shown the gardens, 
um, looks around at various different of the trees and the exotic trees in the garden and is collecting uh, seed pods and whatnot for a while, but is repeatedly looking back at this... Uh, what at the swordmaster? Yes. Uh, to to <laughs> make sure Navius. Navius to make sure whether he's still there, and once he leaves, is like making sure that no one else is there, and then moves to like finds a really great patch of like great ground, and yeah, takes root, <laughs> has a couple <laughs> circles, and then the, the staff unfurls and becomes the the strange carnivorous snake vine, and it opens up its bloom, and uh, we both take root at the same time and just soak, soak in the last waning beams of sunlight. Amazing. Awesome. I love it. Cool. Okay, so you guys all awake in the morning, and, and uh, Oh, I'd like to hold on. I'd, I'd, I'd like to interject that Jimothy uh, drank as much wine as he possibly could, <laughs> and yeah. as a result, has passed out drunk in in this area. Great, uh, which will invariably affect his ability to get there on time. Um, but anyways, okay. he's also tried to stash as much wine as he could and then drink everything, else. <laughs> while stating awesome. that uh, this. You know, want, this wine is, is, yeah. has some great about properties right. at restoring his uh, magical. Oh, uh, yes. Now being commune with Yes, his God. yes, of course. <clears throat> Ooh, Hannah informed us that the channel is at 997 total views. Ooh, dang. Um, we should all do a dance at 1,000. <laughs> I will certainly dance. Bobber certainly will dance. Mm. Absolutely. Oh. Uh, okay. will, will booty dance. Okay, so anything else you guys want to do before basically um, lining up at, at noon for the, <coughs> the departure? And, and just so, so and I had said earlier, like, we're not going to be tracking any of the survival stuff this week because you guys are traveling through the kingdoms. You're going to be, like, traveling through towns and stuff where you could just get food, so it doesn't make any sense. We're not going to gonna starve that. to death between the two cities. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not likely, yeah. Uh, okay. so we, 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 roll we won't bother with any of that. And we're going to be outfitting the expedition next week uh, in Garrisoner Harbor when your money is here to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. Um... So this week you're taken care of effectively. You you guys have this will definitely be the most cushy leg of the trip because mm -hmm. you are going to be riding in uh, yeah. one of the Vrie uh, uh, wagons, oh, uh, one of the wagons of the Vrie estate, one of their sick. carriages. <coughs> um, yeah, w which is led by this this carriage master guy. He needs a name. Harold. Harold? Harold Vuravru. <laughs> wow, I don't know about that, but we'll go with Harold okay. for now. Harold Fresh. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. <laughs> you could call me Mr. Vuravru. Uh, Harold. Vuravru. Um, really hard on that. So, so uh, the next day, you guys are uh, arriving at the, at the, the city square. This is the... Yeah, and here's this crazy carriage that I made. This thing is constructed out of, uh, I don't even know. It's some sort yeah. of a, like, uh, high-density, like, paper board type situation. <clears throat> anyway, the roof comes off, and you can put, put minis in it and stuff. Um... Available now for ninety nine ninety nine. No, oh my god! <laughs> to make one of those again, it would—it's it, just not even worth it. Available now for nine hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, custom made for more than you're willing to pay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys, you and these other expeditions are all lining up in the uh, city square. And people are celebrating. People are flying the colors of Daethelior. Daethelior is the um, is the um, the god of of kind of like a, he's the valiant knight, right? He's kind of like the god of honor, and uh, um, yeah, kind of worshipped by like the knights and the honor bound and that sort of thing. Um, all about that, yeah. People are flying. The, his, the, his holy colors are uh, blue, blue and silver. So they've got their banners out, flying, and uh, there are several expeditions lined up. I think there's five expeditions in total. Uh, your expedition, which I was talking with Hannah earlier, and and uh, we decided that it's just going to be named Expedition Dracona. That is the name of your 
Beautiful. Your group, right? <coughs> Each of these expeditions is going to have a name. Your gr- yours is it was Expedition, Expedition Dracana. That's great. Um, I'm a big fan of that. We also have uh, the expedition, uh, the Guiding Light Expedition. <laughs> Uh, which is being funded by Sister Darling Akobi, which is a rival of of Longi. Um, so you guys are all seeing these different teams all lined up, right? So this, Boo. yeah, Boo. Boo, Sister Darling, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it's the Guiding Light Expedition, right? So, so Sister Darling is a a, a, a priestess of Yavora. Which is which is the goddess of uh, like, uh, like kind of unconditional like like giving and helping and stuff like that. Uh, but she's really just kind of a total snob. Is turned away from like the aristocracy and is like holier than thou mentality mm. now. Guiding um, light, you break the nuns' wheels. Mm. <laughs> uh, also with her is uh, Ash. Okay. You recognize Cedric Oilburn. <clears throat> is is with her crew. Oh, seriously? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, seriously? It's about to get oh, uh, really real. <laughs> um, I also... Really real. Fucking oil burn! O- only <laughs> just got the notes of... Okay, Kothar... And Gaunter. I you, think... You Ga- can figure out who they're in later. I'm doing it now. Okay. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Uh, while he's doing that, you guys can uh, note the pitch for the... Sorry if I'm spamming this to those who uh, have been here, but... Uh, sorry, not sorry. Anybody who's just popped in, it's helpful to know the uh, pitch for the game that we're playing. So also in their group is uh, is your contact, Gaunter. Nice. Alexis. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, he's your contact, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if anyone else. Another expedition that is there is the Narkinzi expedition. Uh, this is being headed up actually by Longi's contact, mm-hmm. uh, Lady Alori. I think that's the pronunciation. Narkinzi, uh, and and in her group also is Giovanni Morningcourt and Nicodemus Karnaslav. So to those of you who know who these characters are, like otherwise people wouldn't recognize anybody. Right. But to right. those of you there, you're re- you're seeing these people. Yeah. You're taking note of rivals, contacts. Mm-hmm. If you want it's to share amazing. information with other people in the party, otherwise. Um, and, and for the audience, these are uh, Josh had us create a contact in a rival party, a rival expedition party, and a, a rival. So mm-hmm. these are kind of characters that are scattered throughout the other teams that are good. good yeah, characters. the other teams that are... The teams are racing against you, but the contact is somebody that you go back a long ways with and, and trust, and maybe will evil, even tell you some information that they shouldn't about what's been going on in their expedition. Uh, yeah, rivals are ones, obviously, to look out for. They're going to be out for you guys. Uh, the last expedition. Well, th- there are a couple more, but I think they're ultimately going to be going in a different direction. So I'm I'm compiling How all of our characters. <laughs> well, because who knows if we'll ever see from them again. So we don't want like right. important but characters still, that people I'm made to be. I'm imagining like leaving me personally leaving for an expedition where like half the wagons go the other way. I'm just instantly <laughs> like, right off the gate what destroyed did I know? by self doubt. Yeah, like oh man, uh, yeah, the doing is wrong. wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, well, originally when when I conceived the the game, I really thought that it was reasonable for the group to go in either of two directions. Yeah. And Keith's character is from the direction that you guys are going in, or is more tied in in that direction. So it made more sense for the adventure to go that way. Um, so that's why that decision was made. But a couple of other expeditions will be heading in the opposite direction. Ultimately heading north, but they'll be going east instead of west to start. Uh, so the last expedition is the Brideport expedition, led by Felix Brideport, who I just had to make up. He's the sponsor. He's not connected to anyone yet. But uh, the contact, Laika, you recognize the dire wolf that you once uh, healed from a, tra- a trap that it had stepped in, like a hunter's trap or something. Uh, and Hrall the barbarian, who is its owner, who is kind of abusive and kind of shitty. Oh, yeah. I see, and I see the wolf, and I'm excited for a moment, and then realize that it's 
Yeah, and then you and see the can't. chain connected, and then her all like pulls on it, and yeah. <laughs> Stupid much. He's just yeah. <laughs> he's awful. Uh, and and Lydian Crean <laughs> is also in the Brideport expedition. Uh, y- let's see, uh, and I think. No, you know what? I had I just had an idea. Okay, instead of Hrall the Barbarian, your character Iron Jaw, uh, Iron Tusk, Iron Tusk, he's the one who who has like a the oh, the, uh, the wolf. Is it. that cool? Yeah. Does that make sense for that character? Uh, well, why not? Yeah, of course. Because Iron he's like Tusk. he's like a he's like a massive he barbarian. He probably recognized half-orc. it was a direwolf, right? Yeah, he recognized the direwolf's strength and is totally you know sees that as as a valuable thing to have. So yeah, so we're putting those two together. That is a, a rival and a contact combined together. Mm. Could be interesting. Um, okay, so those other expeditions are all lined up here, uh, and there is. <coughs> I don't know, some sort of a, a, you know, person standing here who's kind of over overseeing it all and is, like, taking names on, on like, rosters, taking down everybody's names, um, and is making sure that everybody's lined up and ready to go and everything is in order, and um, there's a, a big sundial here in the middle of this court, and, and when there is no more shadow... The gun is raised into the air. Someone, someone is loading a uh, Hess Industries uh, uh, yeah, yeah. rifle. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Throwback. Yeah. Throwback to a character in a different campaign awesome. in Josh's world. Yep. Played, yeah. by, played by Shag. <clears throat> Hess. Great. Hess rifle, yeah, and it's raised into the air and fired. <laughs> and all of the teams take off. And, and of course, because this is a, a journey that, that is expected to take a couple months, no one is in a yeah, particular no hurry. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Right, here we go. There's one guy that's like, I'll do it. Like throwing elbows and just attacking each other right off the bat. Uh, um, I feel like Tay definitely waved over at Cedric. Cedric! Uncle Cedric! Uh, definitely wanted to make sure that she uh, acknowledged uh, a friend. Um, of course, uh, I, would, I would imagine that there are probably some other... There's probably several people around that she's waving and smiling at. And sort of. Oh yeah, but Yurik is waving at people for yeah. certain. <laughs> Furla is confounded by this human gesture of waving. <laughs> it almost looks like Navy is this too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, and, and there are uh, like people like the streets are crowded, right? So it's actually a little bit congested and a little bit frustrating to try to get by in, in this big carriage. Um, and at some point, you guys pull up to an intersection, and there is there is a uh, parade crossing that's blocking your way, and it's slowing your progress out of the city. So. We should bust out some dice. And maybe, maybe we're playing a role-playing game. We are playing a role-playing game. <laughs> Holy moly! We're rolling nice. and playing. <clears throat> Uh, I don't even know what type of check this is. Somebody give me some sort of a check to like figure out mm. a good a good route to take out of the city. Yeah, that's not a. Um, I mean, I don't know. There's not really a knowledge. Thank you guys. Uh, so yeah. here's a knowledge local. So he's gonna run up direction next. survival. I, I could guess, do survival, I but it's so in a city, like, up. direction Well, he's, he's going to wake up upon hearing the gunshot and run out saying, <laughs> How oh. could you leave without Jimothy? Oh, right, Jimothy isn't even <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. his, his head so he is gets throbbing. up, having heard it, he's like, uh, he's completely disheveled. It's like, how could you leave without me, Alexi? Yeah, Jimothy, I was performing an act of oniromancy, which, of course, you know that. That means that you have premonitions based on dreams. Why would you not wait for me? <laughs> <laughs> And then everyone's like, you're a Mancy. I didn't know you had that. There's like lipstick oh, all over his oh, face. Wow. And... <laughs> oh, no, it's yeah. it's just wine that's like spilled on his face. Yeah, yeah. no, he was just passed out from, hung over. from the bottle. Oh, Jimothy. <laughs> uh, yep. And then uh, Alexi turns around to, to Jimothy and is like, oh, well, that's perfect timing. Uh, you know, we, we need to get through this crowd. Uh, perhaps you have foresaw some sort of path uh, we, we, we could take to get through here. <laughs> 
I love it. it deep. <laughs> Holy shit. I love it. Yeah. Just one more power to add on to it. Yeah, it's yeah. completely fake. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. Does Jimothy have a relevant yeah. skill? Uh, I, I don't know. What was his skills? Oh, yeah. What sorry. I guess, I, I guess I, I've got it here. Jimothy Croissant for Sun. Has lore, deceive, and ride. So he's gonna have to use deceive. Well, ride is actually so... ha- handle handle animal. <laughs> um, of course I do. Yeah. So so he could. You can handle all animals minus uh, my goat. I mean, rapport, rapport <laughs> would make sense think. to kind of clear. Nope, mm-hmm. that's my goat. Speak speak someone down. <laughs> Um, I, I would allow you to make a deceive check with him to, to say that he does know the way, but then he just happens to actually choose a way that works if you roll well, right? I mean, it, if he succeeds at his deceive, then then he uh, then he convinced you that he knew the way and then happened to pick the right way and then didn't look like an ass. Well, I'm going to roll for the right way because I got survival. Yes! Okay. <laughs> so for a look. Is there any way that you can assist other people's rolls? Yeah, so I mean, um, where is the... Um, oh, I, I had it out here. The, 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 the cheat sheet. The, does the it, core sheet. Does everybody so, have a cheat yeah. sheet? So your four actions are o- overcome an obstacle, create an advantage, Attack and defend. So, so right now Keith is rolling to overcome an obstacle, but creating an, an advantage is what you would be talking about. Yeah. Using Cry survival. Roll we all we all work. also get um, where'd that bag of fate tokens go? We should have our fate tokens here. But I want to grab a like bowl for it or something. Okay. Um, we all start with uh, fate tokens equal to our refresh rate at the top of your sheet. Which is five minus however many stunts we have. Yes. Okay. Five, how many? My, how many? What? Stunts. You picked. Oh shit! I didn't pick any stunts yet. So. That's fine. Don't worry. That's about fine. It. Yeah. You can pick them as the game goes, and and then just reduce your refresh. Um. All right. I got a six. Here you go. Oh, you don't need my help. <laughs> what, how many? Is it five? A six, okay, yeah, six definitely succeeds. Um, you you like look uh, uh, up and down the street and can tell have a pretty good idea of like where where it's going and and what what direction that you need to go to get around it. And now and it's been established that I'm the the scout, right? I'm the survivalist. <coughs> I don't know if it has been established, but yeah. yeah, it's about to be. Mm-hmm. Well, Jimothy will interject. Well, I, I don't want to plant splain, so I'll, let's let the uh, let's let Furlow over here tell us where would be the best way to go. Actually, no, Jimothy. I would like to see your skills at work. <laughs> tell me, which way do you think is best? Uh, After all, a party works best when everybody contributes their knowledge, and we consider all options before yeah, proceeding. Maybe Wait, tokens. So should I uh, should I roll for that? For yeah, roll a deceive. Yeah, okay, I need some yeah. dice. Yeah, where are the other fudge dice? Fudge yeah. dice. Oh, sweet, there's more oh. dice in here. Josh, how many? By the way, I'm not in I... the wagon. I'm in a Just wagon okay. behind the wagon. You, you should have four. Four. pulled by Kalina. I should have four. Just tokens. so that y'all know. Four dice. Four dice. Four dice. And Keith, I feel like my character would have invited yours to ride. With yeah, okay, cool. me and my yeah. goat's wagon, if you would have liked that. I think I would have wanted to be up front guiding things, though. Okay. So then it's just me. I feel like you're the only one I would have invited, if anyone, into my life. I love wagon. that everyone uh, likes Furla for some reason, even though they're definitely very weird. His I think that was, was the reason why I would have invited you to because Yurik wants to make people feel one result, so he would have been like, so make you try to make you feel result. welcome. Uh huh. Oh, this pay. thing is. Yeah. Uh, fail. <laughs> well, so um, I think is, is there a what's tragic? The, what's the opposite of um, deceive? Will? Yes. Yeah. So so. Um, Sophie, make, make a will check for the will like defense. Yeah, will defense. Ooh. So that might be helpful. <coughs> Zero. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Cool. Thank you. Um. Yeah. He's convinced. Nice. So mm-hmm. he he happened to catch a glance. Oh, you don't on get where Furla was looking or peering out. Mm-hmm. And and uh, totally is just like. 
Oh, well, obviously it's this way. I mean, no, how, where else could you go? I mean, we should, let's get going. We don't want any time to waste, right? We have to be the first one there. So he completely is like... Furla just glares at Timothy, at Timothy <laughs> for like an eerily long time. <clears throat> so he starts leading, leading off mm. that direction. Well, you heard him, Kalima. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys get past. Congratulations, you've navigated your first obstacle. No one has died yet. All my fate tokens. No one's died <laughs> yet. So consider yourself lucky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fray didn't stop at um, least there weren't any murder you guys, you guys make it out of the city and, and onto the road. Keith, can you pull up the local map? So are we over here now? Not quite. Oh, okay. okay. <coughs> Would we be maybe right here? You guys are traveling from Othelium... And it will take three days to get to Calton as the next town there, right? Or really two and a half days because you're leaving for a half day. So go ahead and move the the pin to Calton, the next town. Where is uh, Longy? Wait, can we get some can we get some horse beat sounds? I, Go food, go foods. Several days you guys travel. It is that prancy, <laughs> just so y'all know. <laughs> <laughs> I think all my favorite characters are the primary NPCs. <laughs> yeah. We can all just make our NPCs. You guys all get to the <laughs> swap. Yeah, I've not said anything yet. So. <laughs> You get to, to Calton and, and it's uh, evening time mm-hmm. and you it, you have spent the last couple days on the road and you've had plenty of like f- food and so on but uh, if you guys would like to stop in a tavern or something and uh, for the night you can. I suppose some alcohol might do my bones good. Sle- sleep in some real beds rather than in your fancy tents that you brought along. I would I would go out are there are woods near the Yeah the village I go out to the woods and inconspicuously take root. You go out to the woods and and um what you you are like horrified to realize that this area is you're in logging country. Um Colton is starting to get like pretty north. It, it's like alpine, right? It's north enough that there are like still tons and tons and tons of big trees, big fir trees, um, conifers, but not so much that it's like super snowy yet. So, so there's you're just seeing like you know, I mean, almost like clear cut style, yeah, like logging. Yeah, Furla crouches areas. down and puts their hands over the the rings of the tree and. Crying is a human thing, but Furla expresses <laughs> great sadness. Mourns. Mourns the loss of each of the trees and doesn't get much root sleep. <laughs> I, f- I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you maybe should make a defense roll against mm. having seen this. Having yeah. seen, I mean, this, this would be the same as somebody seeing like a I thousand mean, corpses yeah. or something, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, so, like a well defense? Nothing Alexi hasn't seen before. I got a one. I think I might. So if we invoke our secret, Mm -hmm. we have to give away a little bit. Ooh. uh, Can I give away a little bit of it to the players, even though the characters aren't here? Well, yeah, I mean, the idea is that it's given away to the characters more so. But yeah, I, I think that's I think that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to invoke my secret aspect. Give me a plus two. And the the clip is um, <coughs> pulling out a pouch that's buried deep in Furla's bag, and holds the pouch. Reaches in and pulls out this glowing golden seed, and just holds it close to their chest, and quivers for a time, finds strength in being the keeper of the seed. Mm. 
And and your result was then? It was a, a three. A three, yeah, three succeeds. So you you stabilize yourself and manage to not be traumatized by seeing this. <clears throat> and at the sound of a of a bird taking flight, stuffs the pouch back into the. <laughs> Epic. The sound of the bird taking flight. The the, scene. the uh, uh, snow vine like points points towards it and hisses. <laughs> Ready to chomp if it gets too close. A goose hisses back. I love it. A goose hisses. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. That's like geese work. They hiss. Uh, they do, kind of. They do. They do. Yeah. They absolutely do. Yeah. And they bite. It's, it's nasty. Mean. They're like snakes with wings. Oof. And legs. Birds are just kind of terrifying in and general. And serrated tongue and teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not Tiny talk about yeah. these things <laughs> anymore. I can't do it. I can't Back to go. So you guys are stopping in the tavern? Heck yeah, I am. I mean... The uh, gods will it! You we guys, need you, our You guys are... It, it's it's evening and you're pulling up and you you see this tavern, Ash. Mm. Uh, you, you see like a couple of like people come stumbling out and they look like they've just had a great time. You about to get in vote. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're not going in, you're going to get compelled. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, what is this town's name again? This is Colton. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I sort of look around and without really asking anyone if they were interested in joining me, I just basically leave the party and go <clears throat> sneak there. out and yeah. sneak in. Okay, so we'll use this this building in front of us here as Are you actually sneaking? I, I don't I don't think I'm actually trying to like be unseen. I'm just uh I'm trying to see if I see you go off. I'm curious. Are you compelling him, Josh? I don't know if he needs to be compelled. I mean, I, are, are you putting him in a detrimental situation? Well, maybe, so I'll give you a compel. <laughs> I, I want you to go in here. Okay, I'm going Do in. I have a pool? Yes, the number of players. Wait, what per, is this? Per scene. Okay. For a compel, so you basically give, give me a fit point if I... To do something that is... If I do what you want me to do. Basically. Yeah. I've yeah. done it. I and, he's, and he's picking an aspect of your character and compelling it. Like, he's right. making you get yourself in trouble by... Okay. By pulling and you by your aspect. If I was aspect. to not want to do it, I would and, have to spend and, a fate point to yes, not. Yep, do yep. Mm-hmm. And I should, I should be clear. I'm compelling his uh, trouble, which is that you're abusing the bottle, or what is it? I abuse alcohol to function. So yeah. I'm, I'm basically uh, a, a bit dependent um, on it, sort of like settling me. Y- a lot you're, of you're, you're going to this bar too. Okay. Great. Anyone else? So we got the dwarf. I mean, Jimothy was already. Jimothy was already telling if if Jimothy is, is at the bar people. when you guys He's step on, in there. On table like, already, 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 <laughs> already talking up like the barmaid, just being like uh, some, yeah, some ridiculous thing. He's, 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 he's chatting up the uh, the dancer. The dancer. Yeah. Uh-huh. He's telling yeah. regaling her with stories. Alexi, while not at the point of like delirium tremens level of dependency, does enjoy his drink probably a little too much anyway so he's definitely at the bar sidling up next to um, cue up some uh, ash. music bar music um, I think she would because it I maybe has had to go because basically the whole party was gone at that point and it was I, <laughs> I think she would be one to sort of go with the greatest number of people, yeah. and to not strike off, she would she would follow through, drink just exactly enough to make it seem like she's having a good time, but never enough to make to uh, lose control or sort of lose face. So calculating. Are you sure she's not like? A, I've a, never quite heard music like this before. It's pretty <laughs> fantastic. Uh, so she passed. Truly <laughs> enjoy <laughs> this. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not sure of anything at this point. Um, not a sociopath. I don't. This is like bringing up 
memories of fear for some reason. Oh, does oh, this soundtrack remind you of a terrible, <laughs> terrible what? experience? Uh, was it when Robert and uh, I was trying Betsy to remember if this was playing when that it. happened. No, that yeah, uh, this just actually, reminds me. Yeah, it might, it might have, have been. been. Let's not talk I don't about quite it. remember. Yeah, Tazzy got his mm. neck rang. God, I'm <laughs> guessing that it was based on the fact that I viscerally was like. Ooh, <laughs> song. That was the new Monero campaign, which we'll return to in a few months. Yeah, I, could, I could do some different music. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I've processed my trauma. <laughs> I haven't. It's okay. I'll put on this spooky music. Okay. Instead. Spooky tavern music. Yeah, that'd be weird. It could be, weird it could be the, the shady. There's the like a shady thing. tavern with that guy coughing incessantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the one. It yeah. sounds. It's so throaty. Which all all of the music on our channel is provided by our paid subscription to Sirenscape. Out, but whatever the case. Uh, you guys are all in this place. You're ordering your drinks. Um, this place is uh, is dimly lit. I need some. I still some rather cards. enjoy the music. <laughs> Ooh, there's a whole bunch right there. Exiled tones. That's what I was reaching for. It's coin toe tapping. <laughs> it's slow, but toe tapping indeed. <laughs> Dim and smoky. Hmm. My favorite brew! And a reminder, these uh, are aspects. And Josh, you do an asterisk at the beginning of it to denote that it's kind of need needlessly specific. But um, So situational aspects are similar to aspects on your character sheet where you can invoke these if you can narratively justify them giving you a plus two, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, well, because it's dim and smoky, I can get a plus two on a stealth check to hide. Yeah. Right? So. I, I was gonna do that. <laughs> yep. Dim and smoky. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured out any other aspects yet. That's what we have for now. That's good. Um. <clears throat> I would like, I would like to invoke that aspect okay. to just kind of come into the door and then subtly station myself by the just like right, you know, that's apparently Navy's this thing is coming indoors and standing right next to them. Ne yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scary. Face like? facing the door. Yeah, but... I don't necessarily. Yeah, facing into the room. Yeah. I don't necessarily With the door to your side. Yeah, in the corner. want You'll anybody corner. to know that I am here. This is this is her. Yeah. Thank you. That's a plus one on the dice. And then do it. You have to pay to yeah. invoke a situational aspect, yeah. Ding. Yeah. Three. I think you slip in without anyone really Great. noticing you at all. Uh, and, and and into this corner here yeah. where you're basically like the door is just to your left and you've got complete view over the entire room. Love it. And bear in Sweet. mind you get all of your fate tokens back at the beginning of every session, so it's and you can get some by compelling yourself, so it's worth it to just spend them. <clears throat> The dancing girl seems like she's kind of she's being playful with uh, with Jimothy. She's got she's got some like silks and she's kind of doing the like playful. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey! Oh Jimothy! Gonna get Jimothy's yeah, just girl. sitting he's there like in so much fucking so oh, so enthralled <laughs> and he's just like just babbling on about like oh did I tell you about the time that I I took down two giants there and he's like increasing the size of the giants from the last time right. he told it by like two feet every mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. um, he's just going on and on about that this camera is just struggling to focus yeah, what the heck come on like camera I feel like going to get us get in a lot of trouble once we get out my finger would help once he's <laughs> dead I feel like <laughs> once he's dead or once we're out of the city I cities. feel like once we get him away from people he'll right, less exactly. trouble actually exactly so you guys all have your drinks and, you, and you're uh, um, <laughs> settling in for, for some, some music and some dancing and uh, and these <clears throat> three figures come walking in the door uh, mm. pretty pretty large People not not armed. They don't have weapons per se. Um, Is well, there something that would like help with making a study of them and checking for that type of thing? Um, like who do they belong with? What yeah, they yeah. You, you can definitely make a general kind of like observation sort of check. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure what skill that is. Um, um, notice or did we we replace notice with survival? Notice is survival right? now. Oh, but 
I mean, that's sort of like but for I, I, survival. I, I, you yeah. could use fight. That's what like, I was gonna say. Yeah. To size someone up, you oh, can use fight. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a plus two. Wow. Um, and this this could be her learning him learning aspects about a character. Yeah, could be one way of approaching it, and then those could be invoked against them. Like a bad leg or something. Like yeah, walks with perfect. a perfect person. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, doesn't cool with that. You, you, you can even doesn't have a go. Doesn't have a go. <laughs> Learn an aspect about these. You can where where about is these guys. Kalima in this? Is she? She's outside. She's always outside. I have yeah. them here protecting somewhere. herself. I assume just chowing down on some like small, it doesn't have low to... lying grasses. Mm -hmm. Or uh, go like that, Josh. You could do. Or yeah. she's chewing rocks up. Yeah. <laughs> There's no what difference if, what if to her between rocks and grass. What if one of Timothy's tassels like? Um, or yeah. <laughs> Aiden. Um, My scars! You, you take in these guys' aspect yeah. very quickly as they step into the room and they uh, immediately, their like faces and everything turn sour as they see basically a bunch of strangers in their bar. Mm. Mm. These guys do not take kindly to strangers. Townies. Um, and, and and as as they come through, I don't know. Yurik Yurik's mini is there, so I'm just gonna say one of them just totally does the like rude brush up against the shoulder as the as he walks past. That's probably a friendly hello. Excuse me, my friend. And comes up to the counter to order his ale uh, and and to get beers for the other ones, and they're going to sit around this round table here. And as he gets his three ales and turns around. Catch his eyes with Jimothy. Oh no! Jimothy! You can't, just can't help. Control your main Dude. NPC, sir! <laughs> but his main, his high concept is he can't be controlled. <laughs> Dude, the <laughs> main things, do they apply to our. <laughs> do they apply to our NPCs or no? Um. I think they can if you want to like use it and for, for to like be rolling for an NPC because in general you're going to be rolling for NPCs, hmm. right? So then if you're rolling for them and you want to use the fate point, I think yeah. That, yeah. I just want to know if this came from the good. same bank and if I was allowed to. Use it. Yep, yeah. that that's correct. That makes yeah. sense. Good to know. Good to um, know. He turns around, he's got these three ales in his hand, and he locks eyes with Jimothy, and he's like, there's that son of a bitch right there! The one I told you about earlier! He sold he sold my wife some fucking horse piss! Said it would heal her! Now she's six feet under! Oh, fuck. Whoa, 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 my friend. Now, now, <laughs> hang on. I specifically told your wife... What, what, what was her... Sarah! Uh, oh, oh, right, right. Sarah, Sarah. Now, I specifically told her that this... I mean, this is technically horse piss, but... But... <laughs> but it has been blessed by the horse god... <laughs> uh, uh, and what you needed to do is you needed to bury it for three days, uh, allowing for at least one of those days to have the full moon cast down on, on that mound in order for it to be properly uh, channeled with the mystical energies. Otherwise, if you didn't drink, if you drank it too early... You could die, okay? Uh, I made that very clear when I sold that to your wife, uh, Dara. How about you and your friends empty your pockets now, or I bury you in the ground permanently? Uh, so Alexi saunters over next uh, and puts himself in front of, uh, I guess, this character's name and, and Jimothy. Yeah, our crowded room. Your crowded like, room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And uh, walks over to interject and uh, uses provoke to, to um, draw attention away. Okay. And yeah. hopefully get them to back down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll, I'll roll for that. Focus. Go, camera, go. Okay, so I guess the result was a three. It's going to be against a will. Oh. 
So I it. also had a three, so it's a tie. Um, Can we reroll? No, a tie is a success with a minor cost. I want to say. Is he making? What, what's what's me. he's attacking him? <laughs> he's attacking with um, provoke. Provoke, yeah. Well, I'm using gain a boost to, instead to of doing him, damage. Make him back down mm. as an intimidation. Yeah, that's probably more of an overcome an, an obstacle. Yeah, I'm, I'm using provoke in a, in a manner to yeah succeed him. at the action you were attempting, but at a minor cost. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. but you could also spend a fate token to to boost it by two to succeed, but you'd have to justify, justify an it. aspect. Yeah, use the um, aspect to justify it. The, I feel like the only way I could really justify that is that he's. You do have a, don't you have a positive relationship aspect? Yeah, with yeah. Does that thing? count? If you can make sense of it, yeah. Well, then absolutely he wants to make sure he protects his guide because mm. that's the person who's going to lead him to... Well, his personal goal is finding his family. Oh my god, is Jimothy going to lead him to his family? That's the, he's the one he's who convinced him. him. Oh, oh no! That's why Jimothy can't oh, own up to anything. Oh or he's no! Such a shit. He's in so what deep. What a shit. He's in so, so deep. So I will absolutely <laughs> spin a token. <laughs> uh, and I, I put my hand. He's going to be the first character to die by our own hand. <laughs> <laughs> what a well, great I put character. my hand up on, on this Deep unnamed uh, Bruce. And say, uh, excuse me there, uh, friend. I don't believe we've uh, introduced ourselves. Now, uh, I see you've got a couple of uh, beers in your hands. Uh, wh- why don't you uh, go sit down with your friends and have a seat? Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your drink. I... There's no need to uh, cause any uh, disturbance here. We're all here to have uh, a good time, right? No, how about you buy a round for me and everybody else in here? Two rounds, in fact. Two. Then maybe I'll think about it. Ooh, shit. I, <laughs> two I rounds think for everybody in the fucking room. I, that could be a resource roll to see if he mm-hmm. can afford it, perhaps. Could, should I? Should, can I do that? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm just kick, kicking around. around. Thing. Yeah, you might not, but somebody else could if they wanted us to, to like step up and say that they were making a resource roll. I can tell you, Jimothy, absolutely. Even if he had the money, would never do that. But no. um, I think I think Tim would, his life would probably dead. attempt to step in, mm-hmm. gentlemen. But Ash wouldn't, gentlemen. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> He's just drinking gentlemen. at the bar. Ash will not speak <laughs> until Tay's dead. I think. Right. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm sure we can all settle this with a few beers, a couple of laughs. And I think she's going to try and actually enchant. Okay, oh. awesome. Oh. To sort of mm-hmm. nice. make, make them forget that they're mad in the first <coughs> place, basically. Yeah. No, so I roll... Do you have her... I think she's plus yeah. four... No, she's... You guys should actually have the, these sheets. Because right. they're yeah, your, we could we cut them out at a certain point. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't sure if cutting them out would actually make them easier or harder to find. Yeah, because because right now it's like all main NPCs are on one sheet, all like you know supporting NPCs are on one sheet. All right. She has so she has plus three to enchanting. And you can move those around if you if you find that. Right. So uh, one way you could approach this is by doing create an advantage to with enchanting mm-hmm. and then you dictate what the aspect is that you would create so you could be like they're all charmed charmed or they're all like you know emotionally uh yeah. relaxed, all that did relaxed. Yeah. And, and, yeah and and it's not it's not like doing the thing to them but then somebody else follows up and they use the fact that they're charmed and then they get they can it's like a free invoke they get they get they get like a basically like a free two. fate point that they can use because they're charmed then when they talk to them then they can overcome them oh so, so okay. you can i see okay. you could attempt to overcome them yourself right now or you could create an advantage for somebody else to then overcome them i'm going to attempt to overcome them did I fail with the right minor now. cost even after I spent the fate token or no? Or do you just want to roll with this and I'll take the token back and forget it? Um, I forgot what happened. Sorry, so I need a reminder. I, before I spent the token, I succeeded. I tied, which meant I succeeded with the minor cost, but I spent the token justifying them there to protect the guy. Oh, I forgot about so that. If you want to um, proceed with that, that's cool. I, I'll just, as if I never... Okay, yeah, go for it. I'm more interested to see where this goes anyway. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sorry. So she she's attempting to uh, to 
in charm them. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, Suggestion or something. Right, so that's two pluses, a minus, and a neutral. So that would be... Total one plus three. Total one, one, one plus, plus three. whatever your skill is. So four total. Because, like, these two cancel each other out. Right. So you're right. like, that plus one. And... All right, I got a two. So you succeed. Okay, great. Jim, let's all sit down. We're going to laugh about this in, a, in just an hour from now. I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. Is there, like, a sparkle? Like a like, magic sparkle in her eye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's doing a little bit of a, you know, just like a smile. Just trying to, uh, looking at each of them in the eye. And, uh, yeah, well, try, he, tried to basically just control the whole. Yeah, the one guy's like, "Well, sh- shit, if you keep me company, then uh, I'll keep my mouth shut." You bet. Uh, of course. He's looking her over. Be happy to. All right, great. Yeah. You guys talk down the angry lumberjacks <laughs> in the tavern. The one is still given the evil side eye to Jimothy the whole time, but who isn't? But but every time that he does, Tay kind of like grabs, like, you know, d- does the light grab his face and like turn him. That's like, no, look at so, me. So tell me, <laughs> how much wood do you cut down? <laughs> I'm so interested. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'm just a woodchuck. Uh, nice. Tay has never been so interested in wood. Oh, and fascinated. We should we should cut to like a five minute break and then and then come back for uh, we still got another hour. I got Heck more yeah. in store. This has already been fun. Five minutes. <laughs> just like yeah. I feel like I'm just like how fast can we spill our spaghetti? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna cut to a five minute break. Ooh. Oh, break post time. <laughs> Don't make me hold it! Don't make me hold it! Oh, I don't know that it works. Oh. When last we left off, our players had just talked down some angry lumberjacks who accused one of the expedition of having sold them horse piss? what he called horse piss. Not confirmed uh, but, as well, horse piss. It was an elixir. Thank you very much. Yeah. What we as uh, characters know about... Jimothy, uh, the the party member in question, is that he is a, a a priest who is able to heal the wounded. What we as players at the table know is that he's a snake oil salesman and a pathological liar. These so he characters definitely characters might begin to suspect something is up after yeah. them witnessing this conversation. Yeah, well, so <laughs> totally. So we so th- that whole thing just went down and. Uh, don't, and, and don't, it's, don't mess with the non-believers. They're they're just trouble. <laughs> non-believers. <laughs> uh, and you, you have se- to have faith. You seem to have smoothed things over, and you've acquired some rooms in, in the end for the night. Uh, but it, yeah, if, if you want to have any discussion about any of that, you're welcome to. Uh, otherwise, we'll be on the road and continuing. Nope, just duly noted making a mental note of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like we're all have, sort of like, sussing out each other. This, this guy. <laughs> I am so Could I roll to, to like try to um, I don't know, sharpen the blade or apply a little to it for like to create some sort of advantage? To create an advantage to have like extra sharp blades? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if I'm prepping for it, I'm, I'm over here just like yeah. after that kind of it requires counter, I want to be sure to be prepared. Totally. I think probably just a fight roll makes sense because that fight roll. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's fight fighter thing. training. An approach you could take is um, that you're like everybody has one action they can do before we leave or something, and then everybody can be like, I want to do this, I want to do that, mm-hmm. um, and you're like, and it represents this well, amount of time. Too. So, 
A two. Um, okay, so... <coughs> let me, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> Create an advantage on a tie, gain a boost <coughs> in lieu of creating a new aspect, or gain one free invoke of an existing aspect. So the boost has to be to something that already exists. The blade? Uh, no, a boost is just like a one-time aspect. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you, you get a, a, a boost. By the way, what sort of a uh, weapon do you carry, Jimothy? Oh, and we need to go oh, over that. Jim this or not, is not, not Jimothy. Lexi. Thank Sorry. You um, Jimothy does not need to dirty himself with with combat. Okay. Uh, he has a let's let's go with great sword. Yeah. Okay. So like a two-handed weapon. Yeah, a two-handed weapon sounds good. Go with that. Uh, keep, For some reason, I'm seeing it curved. Oh. Is there a different uh, way that you <clears throat> denote like a boost versus a? I put a B in front of it, boost. and then you do a draw box to be like this yeah. is the this the is one your, use. Your one use. And once it's used, it's sharpen gone. steel. Sweet. So if you guys get into a fight, you can you can tap that. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, damn, go that's tap us. Mm -hmm. Um. And something that that everybody should should choose um, <coughs> is what what like weapon, like level basically that they have. What's their weapon that they're carrying, and what's their armor? Um, so we're gonna we're using the rules out of the system toolkit for armor and weapons, um, rather than out of the normal system. So, uh, to give an idea of the scale, like, weapon one through four is probably the only ones that are even remotely realistic. A four being, like, yeah, crazy, like, like a great sword, a two-handed sword, or two-handed axe, I think would probably be a, a, a four, like a long sword or something like that as a three, um, you know, short sword or something as a two, dagger as a one. Um, so... So two-handed is only a two? A two-handed is a four. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and, and what that means is that any time that you attack, the minimum amount of damage that you do is, is, is four. If the result that you rolled uh, is higher than that, then you do the higher amount. But it, 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 it is kind of ensuring a minimum amount of damage that you're doing. Um, the inverse of that, then, is armor, which works in the opposite direction. So armor, I think, starts at four and goes down to one. I need to double-check that real quick. Yeah, and one is, like, better because... One you're... is, like, plate armor. And the idea with that is you're saying, like, no matter what, if I'm getting hit for damage, the maximum amount of damage that can be done to me is, like, three, if I have on armor three. Mm -hmm. Right? It would be, like... I don't know, maybe armor four is leather or leather armor or something, and armor three is like kinda of like a chain shirt or something. Yeah. Armor two is I could do this up in a document and, yeah. and then people can pick it out. Yeah. Yeah. But in general, the idea is, yeah, do you want your weapon to be like kinda of light light, medium, or heavy? I guess there's four. Light, medium, heavy, or like two handed. Well, and then your armor is the opposite. Change my mind. I want a series of brains. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do that much damage, but sure as hell are vicious. But they're really cool. They are cool as fuck. Until you turn them around, then they do. <laughs> Give me just a moment, guys. What do you think about me having so much? This this might be a good time to uh, to mention. Uh, I could talk, Josh. Go for it. I could stall. Heroes Guild is the thing that we're involved with. Oh yeah. Uh, and created. Josh is the creator of the Heroes Guild. It's an after-school tabletop role-playing game program, uh, teaching youth age six to sixteen tabletop role-playing games and cooperative uh, role-playing, storytelling, math. Problem solving skills, ethics, morality. There's a lot of problems solved with, with uh, good approaches, and we're designing a uh, role playing game for it, the Heroes Guild RPG. 
uh, which is a uh, kind of a hack of the Powered by the Apocalypse system, specifically designed for and play-tested over 200-plus hours at this point by kids. Oh, 400. 400. Yeah. <laughs> has been several seasons across many, many GMs. Um, and if you want to uh, hear it in action, um, we had uh, NPR uh, podcast done of it in mm. which Josh runs uh, a session with these kiddos. And it is a lovingly, professionally, epically produced production that you That's should awesome. check out and, uh, and enjoy. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Sorry. No, continue. that was that was great. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> you guys continue on your track, I assume. From Colton, the next day mm -hmm. you rise. Uh, it is stormy out, um, and you guys make your way from the city. You travel. That's a good name too. For a couple stormy. hours, <laughs> until you get to a bridge, and the. Uh, is anyone sitting up, like in the coach, in the in like the front of I the would, carriage? Oh. Yeah, that would make. Sense. We both can. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I would. Okay. Or you, or you could be friends. sitting on top, Keith. If I mean, there is yeah. totally room. Like, I would on definitely top be on the top the in, in order to have maximum visibility. Scouting. Okay. Yeah. I'm in a smaller wagon behind this wagon. I want to make it. <laughs> you, okay, you are. Being okay. Pulled by a goat. It's like okay. a hand cart. Great. I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <coughs> pull this. Over. My my snow vine is uh, off. It was yes. gonna it's actually eating something. This is perfect, <laughs> except not this, but Kalima. But Kalima, should I give you this wagon? We'll, yes. We'll suspend. It, is that milk in the back? Uh, only milk. <laughs> only. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. That's perfect. Uh, well, okay, so f so um, <laughs> Keith. <laughs> give give me a survival check. <laughs> that was actually exactly what I was. <laughs> Ooh. Where's our other? Ruh -ruh. Oh, these are the. Um, other... Here's me. Am I? Uh... How did they? Say yeah, you, you guys are all inside, right. so we'll just. What say, am I? What am I doing so that I can know how to, <laughs> what to invoke? Um, no, you're trying to notice. Okay. Mm. Notice something happening. Um, I am going to invoke, um, Mystical Tundra Dryad, yes, um, in that I'm one with say. nature and very perceptive of my environment in order to reroll this. Okay. Instead of the plus two, though. that's better. Um, so I got a five. A five? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so I think, um, before... Maybe we'll like scoot you guys back just a little bit before you totally pull up onto the bridge. You get a sense that that something is off. There's like danger, um, and I think that's gonna be way way too, too close. close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you do your thing. Then. I'm okay. trying to help. I know. Um, yeah. So something is off. Um, the, the forest is quiet. There's the sound of this like storm, but you would expect to be hearing the animals all loud, and, and they are, uh, something is in this. Yes, and, it, and, and you maybe say something to the, to the carriage driver to slow down, uh, and as you do, you notice waiting on the bridge for you. I'll pull you guys back some, because you notice that. Don't touch my goat. Uh, your goat is good. Don't hey, touch hey, me, hey, goat! Hey, hey. Don't touch my goat. All right, I'll right Perfect. Thank you. Right behind Jim. So across the bridge is a, a cart. I like that angle. And there Snack. are mm -hmm, a Man, couple right of there. figures Whoa. sitting here. One of them... He's kicked back. He's got, you know, he's sitting on the wagon wheel and kind of like leg kicked up and, and arm slung back over, uh, with a with a hood pulled up and, and like strands of silver running out. And another character next to him, short, muscular, 
scarred body and an, a sour look on his face. If only they had Timothy there at the ring. Oh, well, he would bowl over them. <laughs> With his only actual skill of writing. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Everything else is a lie. Really? <laughs> and there are a couple more characters there as well. And they say, well, it's about time you've arrived. Oh, goodness. The um, accent only ever means one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Been waiting for you. <laughs> Have you? Have you waited long? Oh, a few hours. Wow, that's a lot in this weather. Well, how can we be of help? <laughs> it is a lot to be waiting in the open rain. You are the uh, group they call themselves the Dracon Expedition, are you not? Close. <laughs> well, uh... Me and my boys, we was thinking it'd be best if y'all would just turn around and head back to uh, Othelium there. <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to create an for? advantage with nature. I'm going to grow a uh, like a spine out from my <clears throat> arm and poison like secrete a venom onto it. Whoa! Um, so the advantage I'm trying to create is poisoned it's when you attack later. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Damn. And I got a three. Yurik can't see anything because he's behind this. That thing. seems reasonable. Yeah, he's just like fine with the vacuum. <laughs> yeah. All right. Watch the pro. Give me a card and I'll write it. A three. Um, just enjoying a nice. Just like a success would give, would give you one. <laughs> he's probably not drinking. One uh, invoke on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a so success it's, with it's style. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Um, spine is not the word. <laughs> thorn. Poison <laughs> thorn. Poison thorn. Ooh, poison thorn is good. Sounds like a pro wrestler. Cream of half a half. Who do I work for? Well, you looking at him, number one, always. Excellent. This should be easy, then. <laughs> oh, I don't know how easy. I, I don't imagine it was... Uh, um, I'm like urging the horses onward. <laughs> Let's go <laughs> <laughs> to like push past. We're, we're advancing. No, it looks like, like they're it looks like they're blocking the road. Oh, right. Through. Yeah, yeah. They've got a cart like just straight up, like right in the middle of the. Well, we're gonna go get right in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Are Are you getting uh, out of the the wagon yeah, or actually, getting getting down? I will. Okay. And then we'll just start walking towards them. I think I'm going to too. Okay. Anybody else? I think I will as well. I'm gonna let Actually, the green team take it out. Can you see what's going on, Lima? I can't yeah. really tell. Yeah, I think constantly. I'm just sort of. I wonder why they're stopped. Yeah, walking up quietly behind. Okay. I can't see anything because I'm on, <laughs> on my tiny car. Yeah. Behind. And I am. Or you're like yelling, "What's going on?" I'm up just. Hey! I'm actually talking to Kalima. I'm saying, well, "What do you think's going on up there?" Okay. <laughs> and and everyone else is hanging back for now. Timothy is purposefully yeah. like. Knows it looks like there's some trouble, and he's just like, I'm absolutely entranced by your creature. Mm -hmm. Just just talking him up, just trying to find ways to like just like distance. Tay is also dangerous. taking loving the conversation. So, so as as you friends and as you're sort of wa walking in. up, le leading the way of of the group here on the bridge, uh, I will lean. lean you're up you're this taking a notice of this of this guy, Watch and uh, carefully. he's a uh, he's a little advanced for his age. Actually, you would kind of guess that he's about the same age as as yourself, the venerable sword Ew. master. Can I do a fight roll to? It like size up in the crew. Yeah, <laughs> I love this function. <laughs> totally. Oh, plus three. Um, yeah. So, so you get the feeling that this guy definitely knows how to handle himself. Um, he doesn't like. Well, he does have a long sword strapped to his hip, but it's not drawn. Um, he he is a little older, so he's mm -hmm. probably. Probably not super fast, but he probably makes up for it in technique, right? Um, the the guy next to him. I know the, the struggle well. 
the guy, the guy next to him, the short, muscular guy, yeah. he definitely looks like trouble. Like you can, t- he's got scar- kind of scars all over his body. He looks like he has probably fought professionally for a living or something, and he is like light on his feet. Um, the other two guys look like goons. Uh, yeah, he, he said, uh, yeah, so what do you say? We have don't no have in- to have no blood spill on this bridge today. You're correct, we do not, but we have no intention of halting. Well, <laughs> see, the one that paid me, they got a big problem with that, though, you see? Mm. And I was, uh, you know, they... I did pay Perhaps you quite should a be lot. more discerning in your employers. Well, I discern by the coin they pay me, and, and uh, this job's offering a pretty penny. In fact, I think me and my boys might retire after this job. Someone's got it out for you real good. I'm sure that it is more than one entity who has it out for my lady. So don't flatter yourself. <laughs> you are just a pawn. <clears throat> Though you style yourself as a king. <laughs> I feel I better back this up. Yeah, 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 that's what I was gonna say. What do we call Beautiful. this? <laughs> uh, provoke, I think, probably. You're trying oh, wow. to talk them down. Dang. Plus one. They will. You don't have any provoke? I just have three skills. Mm. <laughs> no, because you're... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a character. I'm almost a full character. Uh, <laughs> okay. Just a PC. What did you have? What was your total? Just a plus one. A plus one? I had a plus two. <gasps> um, so you either failed or you succeeded a cost. Can, can you invoke anything? Or you Ooh. Or, or, yeah. Um... You were attacking, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> was it more like an intimidate? Yeah. yeah. So That's why it's like trying around. to get. Yeah. Because he would just go in. <laughs> we gotta get this done. Um. I I I feel like honor bound applies. They're attacking the honor of my yeah. lady. Mm-hmm. Basically. Mm. So Ooh. satisfying. Okay, so that gives you a success. So so you are... Uh, this is like a mental attack, right? Yeah. Um, h- how do you determine how much... Stre- oh, it was how many shifts mm-hmm. yeah. that succeeded. So I had a two, you had a three. So it was one shift. All right. Um, all right, yeah. He's He's been hit by your, by your mental assault. Uh, uh, maybe we should go check this out. It seems like uh, quite a lot. He Wait, says, you keep head. that oh, seventh tongue in your mouth if you knew it was good for you. You fools haven't even noticed we've got you surrounded. We've got the upper hand. Turn around now. He's making a provoke of his own. Oh, God. Ooh. I think we tied. Did you get a minus one? I got a minus one, but I do have rank. I, he does uh, have skills in it. So right now I'm at a three. Okay. So is that still a success against it you? Is. Okay. I mean, I would have to spend something to. Okay. To counter that. Yeah. He's provoking you. He's intimidating mm. you and saying that that you guys are surrounded. Are we? <laughs> I'll check. Okay. I mean, surrounded by Kalima. <laughs> um, Keith, my character. You you notice with your survival check oh, earlier, uh, you notice something that's out of place. A a a, a quite large um, golden eagle that's perched ah. up atop a tree. <laughs> right up, up on top, right here, looking down on you guys. Would survival be what I would roll for, like, looking For notice, at? yeah, it is. I got a mm-hmm. plus three. A three? Uh, yeah. 
you uh, you don't so much notice as you hear splashes from the from the bridge, the water underneath you, as uh, a couple of figures come out from. They they were basically like right here under the bridge, and they're and they're like coming out around like this, right? Um, who is up Joe here with me? Other than Furla. I'm, I'm, I'm getting impatient and back behind making my way up towards. So these two are coming up from that side and this guy's coming up around from the other side. Can I make a survival? Like, is that the, the notice here? Eagle. To see yeah. these people? Eagles perched on a tree. My first roll of the game is a plus, is a four total. I like you were just like to notice oh, what nice. these these people here. Yeah. Oh survival. yeah, you, yeah. You definitely yeah. You're you're like you're having that kind of like okay, what's taking so long? You're like looking <laughs> looking around the wagon, I'm chatting with Kalima, and and, and, and you and you <laughs> see these two guys. Maybe even before they really notice them, and they're sneaking along this wall, right? right. They're like Obviously, ducked down this low, looks strange. and they've got like blades drawn. Oh, oh yeah, mm-hmm. no, they've got like blades drawn out, and and it's raining, and the rain is like rushing off of their hoods, mm-hmm. right? And they're like creeping, sneaking along right here. Well, I casually reach back and shuffle through some kitchen utensils and grab the <laughs> lid of my casting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I want to do something super quick. Um, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, I don't know if, if we should do an initiative, an initiative or, or some kind. Yeah. Um, you could do it. Uh, oftentimes you're you're using a skill and you're not rolling an initiative. It just goes on and then it becomes kind of a static. Like thing, whoever right? is, and it's different based on what kind of situation mm-hmm. it is. So you're like, if it's a fighting, yeah. If it's a combat, it could be like whoever has the highest like notice or whoever has <laughs> oh, the, highest gotcha. fight. the highest fight. And if it's yeah, a conversation, yeah, yeah. then it's mm-hmm. like whoever has the highest like empathy or rapport or something. Mm-hmm. You can kind of dictate that. Well, I think that I think this is kind of a surprise round type situation that has to do with noticing. So I'm gonna say like people with high survival. Okay. Um, if you give me a card, I can track a initiative. Okay. I did. Yeah. <laughs> and a pencil. Yeah. Somebody legally yeah. needs it as well. I love Sorry. Her whole skill Thank you. <laughs> I feel All right. Like, yeah. I, I'm pretty certain I've got the highest uh, survival. Yeah, you're a plus four, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see I can love unconcerned with quests. <laughs> he doesn't fuss over the way. Uh, does anyone have a three? Yes, oh, what? I do. Survival? Yeah. I have a two. Uh, Nope, I have a two. Alright. Uh, you can search with Quest. Yeah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Rick and Ash. And. What do you have, Sophie? A three? Okay. Yes. And uh, should I denote any of these guys, Josh? On this initiative, um, or if you would have, rather take plus, take over at this point, I only have a yeah, yeah, yeah take over. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Ash should be at a one. I'm, a, I'm at okay. a one, so be. Am, am I going first? Is the yes? Okay. So I am I am squinting very intensely at this cart and the wood on it. And I'm uh, I'm using nature to create an advantage by like binding myself with this wood um, through some kind of ritual. Oh. It doesn't have an apparent You're effect just right now. Very hard. Yeah, I'm binding myself to this type of wood so that I can like get... connecting, like s- kind of spiritually connecting yourself to. It? Okay. Yeah, I want to I want to do something binding, on it. But... I want to control it in okay. a future turn, but okay. I'm setting myself up for it by okay. doing like some kind of ritual, like to bind to it. Cool. Um, okay, that's better. Um, so I got a two. Does that succeed? I don't I don't know. I, it kind of doesn't seem feel like it does. Okay, I can use a... Oh. Well, I mean... Can I see your stuff? 
Yes. I'll say I'll say it does. Okay. Because it's got wood all loaded up in the back of the cart too. So this entire thing is just is a, is a huge cart full of wood. Yeah. Okay. And it's so like more of a I'm, I'm basically I, looking at it, identifying that it's oh it's birch wood or whatever, and then I'm like speaking its true name and I'm making some kind of like connect, <laughs> magical connection with it, um, and uh, I can write a card. Uh, it, it's wood cool. from uh, like some of the trees that were logged in the village. Yeah. Of course it is. And, and that's all I'm doing. <clears throat> bound make, make bound to the wood. Slats of your dick. Okay, so... Uh, family. Yurik, <laughs> what do you want to do? Oh, it's me next. Yeah. I'm going to take my turn to un... Hinge Kalima from her wagon. Okay. Release the goat. Release the goat. And I'm gonna smack her on the ass. Okay. And she's gonna hit off. <laughs> just, just off elsewhere. No, Tori. <laughs> 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 okay. I'm concerned. Oh. Well, Does that weird uncontrolled. thing that like go, how goats can climb up things and just yes. bounce over this? Yeah. <laughs> like you're sending she's, her in. I like pointed these motherfuckers here. I'm like, okay. Like make some like point with my like chin or something like that. That's fine. Or with my, I point with my beard. Just something that I do want to mention, and just to reiterate for everyone, um, your characters <clears throat> have stress bars and consequences. Um, all of the NPCs, main NPCs, supporting, nameless NPCs, only have consequences. Mm -hmm. So you are totally, totally welcome to send her in, but know that if she gets attacked and gets damaged, she'll be taking a consequence, not stress. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah, which <coughs> means that she'll have to get healed, which, which like, if it's, a, if it's a, like, really minor consequence, it's not a big deal, but... If it if it becomes more major, then it can be a thing that can stick with her for a while and can be uh, take a while to go away. Okay, um, I, I forgot about they, that. They don't have stress tracks. Yeah, I probably wouldn't unhinge her for this. This seems these. You are in luck though. Jimothy's only actual skill is basically animal husbandry. Just throwing it out there. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> he is pretty fulfilling. He's the only, only thing he knows. He can do almost everything. Oh, it's actually almost horrible. It's it's actually the only skill is is basically animal I, husbandry. Yeah, especially Ryan since I don't lies. know the full situation. I think that she, I would leave her hinge. Okay, the yeah. Card, and then I would he, I would walk off. Um, carrying the the lid of my cast iron up to these guys here. Yeah, I would just walk until I knew fully the situation that was going on. You could um, like create an advantage, like to, to whatever fluff you want, but like sizing yourself up to do whatever you think or you're going to be doing next. Like, you know, right. if you're like, I think I'm going to fight, then you're, like, create an advantage to be, like, I'm psych psyching myself up. I can do or that. Or, like, I'm armed though. and ready. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would say, like, I'm well defended. Like, I'm, like mm. I've got my armor on. I've got my shield up. Like, there's, there's no way these guys are going to be able to attack me next round without getting past this, like, fucking... Yeah, lid, so. and then you have to roll though to create right. the advantage. Um, and, and, and it I'm could be fight. And I'm, Perhaps it could be. Yeah, probably fight. That makes sense. Minus one. You got a plus one. Is it gonna be against there? Because it's not because it's creating an no, advantage. No, it's kind of against the yeah. passive. Or, or it's whatever you think, however difficult you think this would be passively. <laughs> so I'm trying to ready basically yeah. a defense like. I'm gonna say it, it, that your the D, the DC is basically their uh, their fight value. Mm -hmm. um, I which, think that's good. Which, yeah. which is a three in this case. So. Okay, I rolled a one. Okay. Um, you could invoke, but since I'm the battle chef of the Frostforge, and I've got my my cast iron now, I'm gonna spend a fate point. Obviously, you have to be well prepared. So it's total three. Okay, so so uh, minor success or something. Uh, let's see. What is a uh, well create an advantage? <clears throat> I need this thing out again. Yeah, I find that the H to be super helpful. On a tie, I think it's a boost. Defend tie, grant a boost instead of taking damage. Well, if he's not defending. It's create an advantage. Oh, sorry, damage. sorry. Yeah, a boost. 
is your greatest role. What was your? You got it, Keith. What was your aspect? Well, he was like he was like defending. Well, yeah, well defended. Well, well, well defended. Shield, shields up. So ju- just to kind of explain things for a second, because I love to explain things. But based on what your decision of the advantage is, if you were like, I'm armed and ready, then at a later point when you're fighting and you're like, because I'm armed and ready, my fight would be boosted, right? Mm-hmm. As opposed to like well defended, that is a kind of a harder thing to be like, my yeah. fight is boosted, instead it would be like my defense. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to narratively, it's narratively justified based on what your decision of like, yeah, the advantage is. Yeah. If that makes sense. Sweet. Okay. But boosts are only for your individual player, right? They yeah. They can't be invoked by other people. Yep. And it's a one-time thing. Once you invoke it, then it goes away. Got it. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, the aspect doesn't, like, remain on the table. Uh, Ash. Uh, real quick. For the the stunts, those are things that you use your fate tokens to do. Yes or no? Those are just things that you I think, can do. I think generally. often you use you got, fate tokens. It, it would specify if, if it required a fate. I think it's one that we made up. Is what you're asking about, maybe? Or is there? Or is there a? I'm just so the two cents. The can use you occasion to defend and mm-hmm. then can shape magic. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about that one. Yeah. I think that one would definitely be a fate point. It seems like um, maybe both or. Or would the first no, one I, sort I think of be a stasis? Is, I, I don't. Of like, yeah. Okay. I think you don't need to spend a fate point to defend with magic, but agreed. Yeah. But you do to shape magic. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to um, basically do the same thing as uh, to prepare. So sort of like you, you know, sort of pull my hands out of my sleeves. And like, basically make a fire, and and then the other one sort of like starts to ice up, Um, and basically roll roll to prepare, roll to like Mm -hmm. be able to like Mm -hmm. call call upon my my magic quickly, as quick as a blade, basically. Um, So that is fuse is lit. Mm. So that's a minus one, but I would say that would be evocation, right? So yep. it'd be like a plus three total. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the fuse is lit. The fuse is lit. Yeah. Does a three? Yeah. Succeed. Yep. The fuse. Just use that same. And it's important well. if it succeeds with style, but yeah. <clears throat> Because then you would get an extra box. You got a style on I'm going to add an aspect to my character, and that is, it does not suffer bullies. Mm. Cool. Not more. Boy, boy, boy. I like that. Uh, okay, Navius. All right. Um, oh, man, I, I'm, I had that wrong. Sorry. <clears throat> Ash was written in at a two. And then was also written in a one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. It'll take two turns. I think that was supposed yeah. to be Alexi. We'll just have you go again. Yeah. <laughs> Going? Well, we'll have Navius go and then Alexi because you guys are on the same initiative. Sorry How about that. I oh, what is it? What are you on? I don't it, know. It, Ash was supposed to be on a one, so yeah. I had him go before he should have. But you guys are on the same initi- oh. initiative, so whoever wants is to go. Is that your next. survival? Yes, mm-hmm. in this case it is. So we're both on a. Three. And I'm letting you guys all like go before they go. <laughs> Did I screw from screw? I don't that know. Up? I'm on a three. Or it should be. And Ash is. Okay. Two. Or uh, okay. Alexi is, is too. Okay. And Ash is oh. on a one. Okay. That's okay. I, pre- I it's start to good. prepare to prepare. It's I fine. Pre- I'm ready for it. Either way. <laughs> Everybody's ready. Well, so then Navius should go first right. because we've skipped you for a while. That's okay. I could. I, I can just hold and wait to see what you do. I am, after all. I don't think I've actually like <laughs> interacted with these guys yet, so. Mm. I'm well, just okay. Right in the front. So I noticed these people coming up, and even though people have already taken actions towards this goal, I'm gonna give orders superfluously. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I would say to you, since you're right next to me, um, having no, like, Rula seems to be intensely focused. Mm-hmm. I would say. I know. Cover for it. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna shout in hopes that through the rain that people hear me behind us. 
Um, on guard, wagon under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's time to prove yourselves, company. Ooh, <laughs> Excellent. Um, and then I will, instead of advancing, I, do not hear it. I want to take <laughs> unconcerned request. What? Doesn't care. Um, doesn't care. Yeah, that's true. I also uh, probably did that fit. You know, like when you're driving in the car and you don't turn around and mm-hmm. talk to someone, and they're like, I can't. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what? In the rain, not <laughs> turning around. Um, and I think that I will also take a defensive action to... I will step in front of Frilla, kind of assuming that they are doing something cooler than what I could do right now. Okay. Um, <laughs> and just get prepared to fend off any attackers. After all, I'm a bodyguard, not a body attacker. <laughs> yeah. Are you on on the defense? Yeah. So let's see. What goes into a defense roll? What fight? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> Plus four. <coughs> you got it. Are you armed and ready? Are you? That sounds good. Yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but has taken the stance. For you, in a defensive stance. Yeah, I, I'm like, armed and ready isn't wrong. I, I feel like I would just be wasting time if I tried to come up with something different. Does it have more to do with your stance? Are you like a sword dancer or like sword and board? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, I, I imagine more like a sword I imagine more like sword dancer. That's yeah. what I thought too. Mm-hmm. So since we have... Fencer. It's a fencer, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Anna. I feel like it would be a stance thing. Yes. I. You could just say on guard. Mm, <laughs> yeah, with a rapier. Guard, yes. Oh, what yet? Keith, thank you. Show that art off. I don't, I don't think I spelled that correctly. That's but okay. <laughs> on, on guard. It's Spelling is... Hilt a twinkle. I think that's obvious. Glorious. <laughs> Not bad. Whoa now. Spelling doesn't matter. <laughs> That's the name of my special. Uh, okay, is that has has everyone oh, I think it went Alexi. Like yeah, Taylor this. hasn't gone. Sorry, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, I am going to he got it. Walk up, I guess, <laughs> to the closest um, I think he's right. You got these two th- like goon yeah. guys down here. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up right here and I'm off I'm gonna do provoke, I guess, another intimidate. Okay. Uh, in order to get them to back away because I'm pretty fucking annoyed. You spelled it the same way I did. That, uh, we're... That's what I said. (laughs) We're stopped. (laughs) We're already, uh, stopped on our journey. Uh, so I would like to provoke the the nearest person. Yeah. Uh, Depending on how successful I am. We're pretty close. We'll find out what I say. Okay. Provoke you. Huh? I was making jokes. Provoke you. Don't provoke me. <laughs> I'm God. Still right. The E at the end is for effort. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I got a. <laughs> Are you using effort? No. Wrong uh, <laughs> system. Got it. Okay, handling. Go I back also to have two. immediately. So do we do? Do you want to? Uh, uh Ty. You were attempting to attack for them. Uh, yeah, mental. Yeah, yeah, mental right. attack. You could spend a. Uh, you gain a boost instead of doing damage on a tie, or you could spend a fate point to actually do damage. I'll take the boost, actually. That's fine. I'm okay. basically working myself up anyway because I'm getting pissed. Okay. What do you, th- <laughs> what do you think your boost is? Uh, it's like a partial intimidation. Yeah. Of some sort. So so you've you've got them like uh, on their back foot or something. So I, I walk thousand, up to this guy eyewear. and I'm like trying to physically impose yeah. him. I'm like, you think you can walk waltz in here and stop us with this amateurist move? What is this? Your stance is sloppy. Your sword is rusting. What are you, a couple of common highwaymen? Come here, I'm gonna slap your shit, boy. Mm. Oh, how about shit. how about browbeating? Yeah, shit, don't yeah. slap yeah. my shit. <laughs> Are you good with that, Taylor? Yeah. Bra- browbeating. Uh, Hell yeah. Respect I'm, point earned for Did you say browbeating or brown beating? These are the brown 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 shit that slap. I swear I'm like a glove. Brown beating. Brown beating. Meat puppet. 
<laughs> All right, who's, who's up next? Uh, Fuck yeah. Me. Uh, because you guys have all gone, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm ready to leave someone in the pizza restaurant. Two, bo- uh, two boosts. I have a free pizza for life metal cart. I actually think I have it here. The fact that we don't have a pizza in front of us right now. You, you get one free down you. Well, you get one free slice uh, forever. One Jesus, moment. Let's see. Let's see. Whenever you go in. Why would that even be a thing? Well, so if you perform as like a musician there, they give everybody a free card. Uh, I haven't um, done that, but I did find it at a laundromat all right. years ago. <laughs> Suddenly cutting through the rain flies an arrow at Navia standing in the very front of the group. Ooh. I'm gonna spend a fate point to reroll that. What are you invoking? I'm invoking. Yeah. Dead, is a dead eye shot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Golem is no fun. Uh, Sorry, Ranger with a dark. Should heart. I just turn off the swear uh, okay. and like blocking ne- things? I feel like yeah. I feel like we swear won't. a lot. So. You mostly okay. don't want things spammed. Yeah. So I got there was particular I got words that I was like, when, I never want this fight? against a view. It's, in the yeah, ever, like you're so defending, but that makes sense. But. I feel like we can just like block those people though. You yeah. could I don't know if you tried. I I'm know. I got a <coughs> Oh watch. Three. Perfect. Maybe so, it's shot the neck. So you you could I, use your your yeah, on guard if you'd I like will. to. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Oh, to swat the arrow. Yeah, I, 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 I think so. I want to fence it out of the air. Ooh, Ooh, oh, yeah. 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 Period. So you you check Ooh, that, but it still yeah. exists. Oh. Because it's an aspect. So you oh, can, so now I can just pay to use it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Ah, and that, is that like an Thank aspect you. that you, you keep around, or it's just like for the scene? For the scene. Is that great? Yeah. On Guarde. That's cool. Yeah, but then you have to pay for it after the first free one. Right, <laughs> and then after the scene it goes away. <laughs> yeah, and you could do another turn to create an advantage to like get more check boxes I mean, on it and be like, oh, use right. really uh, <laughs> and, and you look over Navius and, and you see a uh, like sniper down here in the bushes, and at that same moment. This, e- eagle? this eagle no, that's the other ghost. swoops down from the, the tree ghost? and it's coming down for oh, Ash. Uh, it's massive <laughs> claws flared out. Um, this music's perfect. It had a six against you. Woo! It rolled well. Oh boy. Oof. God. And it's fight. Yes. God damn. Don't die in the first wait. episode. No, wait, a five, excuse me, a five. Yeah, but but you also had your defenses up, too. So. I do have my, so I would roll against it. That's my message. Yeah, to defend. Using, okay, but can I, I'm... So you could use evocation right, as the skill. If I use this, that basically pluses it. How it gives much? it a plus two. Plus two. Or or okay. like re, to re-roll, whatever. It, it, it is acting like a fate point, but it's a fate point that it... With that specific aspect tied to it, you have to justify it with them. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two things. Um, uh, since I've already prepared both of my hands, I'm going to sort of raise my. Uh, I'm going to raise my fire hand up and basically just cast out a fireball. I'm just gonna burn, burn that bird right out of the fucking Cookie. sky. Oh, that's and then the dinner. With my yeah. other hand, I'm going to send basically like a um, a long jagged ice spike over past of the archer. Well, I think right now you're just defending. This is like a oh, I cannot. I yeah, this yeah. isn't. It isn't your time. turn. You're like defending against. Exactly. Right. It's my okay. turn. I'm attacking you. So how are you defending yourself? All right, and you I'm can going... use evocation if you want to. Right. I'm going to. I'm basically I'm gonna light the bird up. Yeah, you're doing like just fire right in front of yourself so right. it can't get you. Okay. Cool. Breathe in for oh, Right, right. You're in, in, in a defensive way, right. So, uh, I'm gonna try and roll for that first. Yeah, roll and then add your evocation. Okay, so four, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Wait, no, I got a plus. I don't see that. So that's five. Yeah. I also had a five, so that's a tie, right? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the fuses lit. 
Okay. Pull. To do a plus two on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Seven. Dude, it's getting lit. So you sweep sweep your hand in the air with the fire. Right. I basically make it away, a, basically. a bit of a wall there. Uh, yeah, so you just don't take damage then. Okay. Cool. Um, awesome. That happens. That happens. Um, okay. So if goons are separate from one another, should, how, how sh- should they be grouped if they're like together and they're attacking the same person or before he teamed up with just Yeah. Goons. Is that the idea? R A P. Yeah, and they basically add a plus one for every one of them that there is. Well, I don't know, this guy's still he's still jumping over the car. Um, actually, I think this guy's <laughs> still waiting back. But, uh, okay, so these two guys are attacking, um, well, you're, you're, you, you stepped <coughs> up right there with your shield, right? Yeah. So they're yeah, attacking you. Attacking me. They're, they're at a plus one because there's two of them. Ugh. Oh, okay, I got a three. Right, still right there. And we're measuring against <coughs> what? Fight, so you're defending. A fight, fight or endurance? Fight. It could be either. You have to narrative. Like yeah, the, the, yeah. Endurance is more like taking the the blow versus like fight, like defending yourself against it or something. That's up. That's up to you, Josh. If if you feel like, I think it could be either, like that he could defend with either fight or. Yeah, I think it's endurance. It's, it's fine if it's either or athletics. Oftentimes, I don't know. I mean, that's how I interpreted endurance. That's it's what like I was defense. kind of why I took that as sort of a higher step. But I mean, mm-hmm. it's up to you. I will use fight because it's two. Yeah, I mean, in, endurance things. also definitely Books. gives you more like hip points mm-hmm. effectively. <laughs> no, because they got that great so texture. It's, it's doing that call. for you too. Which do you think? Um, just, you can just do endurance for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna look up physique and see. So I get a plus five to endurance. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you succeed. Uh, they had a three, so not with style, but you do succeed, so you don't take damage, yeah. Um, this other guy is still running around to get grouped up with them. Uh, this single one is attacking you, Furla. And, oh, no, I'm mistaken. And, like, surely misses. You don't generally use physique to defend against attacks. Okay, so fight? Yeah. Still, for, for Furla, I had a, I had a zero four. to attack you, a fight against you, Keith. Okay. Um, Ooh, and the, this go. guy... Big Tom, little guy with, with the big Tom. Tom muscly shoulders. I'm just gonna take it. I have an I had an uncle named Tiny. He was definitely not Tiny. You had a one. I'm gonna spend a favor oh, I for this guy. Um, to hit me, so zero. Oh, a zero. Okay, so I took one stress because hmm? I had a Those minus one. Okay. Um, I know. I wonder where they came from. They look really nice. I got a <clears throat> five against Navius. Ooh, good luck. By an invoking pit fighter turned bandit. Mm, big Tom. Big Tom. Big T! All right. I will... I feel like I will invoke vulnerable Quartz Swordmaster because mm-hmm. I don't give a damn who I want yeah. to make it up to. Okay. So I, yeah, I think that just brings it to a five. To a five? So okay, I so a tie. had a minus one, yeah. Um, so I think a tie on the ad- attacker gain a boost instead of doing damage. All right, so so uh, he's got you. Um, I can write one if you want. Yeah, um... <clears throat> He's got you off balance. Mm. Oh, hateful. I know. <laughs> hateful affection of a place man. I know, it that is. is rude. But but he's a pit fighter, so he knows what Ugh. he's doing. He's moving fast. Ugh. Of all the things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Big T. Um, Should've known. Should have watched out for this guy. Okay, that's it for my turn. Sorry. Back to the top. That took a while. Yeah, so um, for a lot. Yeah, a couple people. Alright, I am uh Concentrating very intensely, holding my hands out, and I am uh, I'm using nature to uh, have <clears throat> vines and like roots grow out of this wood in order to just like 
push it off the bridge, right. basically, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm probably going to invoke bound, bound to the Wood in order mm -hmm. to do that. Uh, right. Yeah, you will be invoking. All right. I'm at a plus one. Should I re-roll? Loves invoking wood. Oh. Well, I'm going to use a fate point and invoke um, Mystical Tundra Dryad. Um would give me a plus two, so that would cancel that out. So I'm at a three, and then I'm gonna invoke this for free. Yeah, I think a five and, does it. and get a five. Mm -hmm. Does that move the move mm -hmm. the cart? I think so. Yeah. So vines grow out, and it just pushes it off. Just, and they like grow out of the wood and mm -hmm. root into the into the stone of this bridge, and you just hear wood popping and cracking as the as the cart just like slowly tips and just. Awesome. Drop drops into the river. Sick. And that's, that's cool move. Time. Thank you. That's <laughs> why I was like, make sure that Perla doesn't get hit. Mm -hmm. Uh <laughs> Navius. Um, now that the way is clear, I kind of want to run over some people with a wagon. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know if a wagon was coming for me, I'd probably get out of the way. So how best to do this while we have crew engaged? Yeah, you guys are all outside the wagon now. Yeah. That's the problem. Jump up on a horse. Dude, what, what's everyone's athletics? Mm. Just trying to put our hands out and, like, grab you as we're going. You're I didn't horse. do that. Doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> Isn't Doesn't. gonna work. It's not even in the equation. <laughs> Yurik doesn't get grabbed. Yurik goes athletics. at his own pace. He goes He goes at uh, 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 his goat's pace. Mm -hmm. so. I like to think that the goat actually can go faster top speed than the horse-drawn carriage. What you thinking? I'm like thinking of just, like, speed. trying to get... Orange trying to lead a charge past them and not bother staying and fighting that like everybody disengage and try to get to the other side mm -hmm. and see if we can just push our way through this. Hold back! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have like a leadership uh, or a, a rapport? I'm a an NPC. <laughs> I think you could, well, well, you could create an advantage with, with fight. Yeah. Lead the charge, or you can actually. Like, or move try and past push an people. obstacle. Yeah, like, just try to put, quarterback my way through this. Mm -hmm. I think I might do that. I don't have the charisma to get anybody to follow me. Mm -hmm. It's up to them. Yeah, pushing past a person is basically, um, it's opposed by their skill in whatever it would or make sense. Like, they would, they would be, yeah. like, if you're, like, wrestling one another <laughs> and you're one person's Go. trying to get past, it'd be, like, physique. Mm -hmm. It's like she would roll one at physique and it would be against their passive opposition of their physique in order to get past them. Um, or it could be athletics. both fighter, mm -hmm. yeah, athletics. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Right now you got Big Tom up in your shit. Big T. It makes my ankles your feel shit. weak. <laughs> <clears throat> Breath, Breath, I know. Yeah, I'm so gonna try to. Kind of trying to brow, brow, brow beaten. Brow, 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 brow beaten. Mm. Meat puppet. Brown beaten. I eat that. Maybe I should just create an advantage for everybody else to push past. Because I do have a big con. <laughs> big T. Big T. Yeah. The big T's. Mm. Big T's. Mm. You also, also can, like, wait for now if you want to just pass for a second. Think about it. Sure. Okay, uh, uh Alexi. Uh, well, I'm still pretty darn, uh, worked up about this guy in front of me mm -hmm. next to Yurk. So, I practically was just already like rearing up from the me. last turn. So I'm ready to just cleave through this guy while I keep marching. So I will, uh, I will attack him. Okay. <laughs> what? It was an awesome roll. <laughs> well, okay. because every other time it's just like well, you no, I like around. legitimately yeah, yeah. loved it. It was so it was such a good roll. Except, <laughs> yes. except they would be more like yeah, they'd be like trying to set them that way. 
Oh, it's your hat! I got a net 40. A three on my fight. That's worthy. A three on your fight against that guy? Let me know if I need to brown beat him. Okay. Uh, you do need to brown beat him because he has a five right now. <laughs> well, I will definitely brown beat. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have a tie right, right. now. Do I need to do one more to succeed with like sharpened steel? Yeah, a tie on an attack is just going to give you another boost, so it might be worth spending that to... And if those are both boosts, then they they're go both, away. They're both mm-hmm. boosts. Yep. Brown nice. Beat. So just... <laughs> just brown beat him! And, and your right extra through. sharpened blade uh, gives you a set. Yeah, so you're at a plus two against him, so not succeeding yeah. with style, but you are hitting him. Your weapon, were you saying, is like is like a... Two-handed like sword plus four. A plus four. Okay, you got to work on four. You yeah. Um, he has armor, I think just armor one. Or, sorry, armor four. So, so yeah, you just cut that guy down. <laughs> Not, by the way, all in one motion, not even stopping up. up and is he a goon? Forward. Is he part of, like... He is a goon, yeah. So, um, if, say he had, like, two, um, stress, right? Or he had, yeah. Say oh, he had right, three, it can go through it multiple. Would, it would go into the next one, yeah. Right. Four. Yeah, so I think you take out two of them. Oh, nice. That. I took them both out. Yeah, because you do four damage, and, and I I need to like look up armor again, but I'm just gonna go with that for now. I think that's right. Yuri um, is yeah, very it, impressive. Four would be the maximum, nodding. and so if you're, and that's the maximum. Seriously yeah, nodding. Four. Yeah, I just don't know that Good armor four is again. correct, or if it's armor <laughs> three is like oh, the lowest armor, nice. show, but it doesn't nice. matter. Um, yeah, so you. So yeah, with a single, cut both of these guys down. I would certainly not want to. That's awesome. Um, Slash his shit. Yurik, there is another guy that's come around behind you. He spent his turn. Oh really? Do I know he's there? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna turn around and push him into that wagon wheel, I guess. All right. Uh, So I'm using fight, and I haven't picked out my weapons status but I imagine it's like it's yeah a, so so basically like one is a dagger two is like a short sword or something like kind of smaller like light but not super small I mean, this thing's three heavy, is like a long but sword but it's certainly not a great sword and four is like a I'd say three sword. Does that make, would that make sense for this for the shield yeah yeah do you not have any sort of a like weapon weapon mm-hmm. you just shield bash people yeah I just gotcha live, yeah totally okay I, I imagine it's very well made. It's not made for battle, though, but it's heavy as fuck. Yeah, I think a three is fine. Okay. I mean, I could also do a two if you think that's more reasonable. I think a two would make more sense, because it's not... Like, it's, it's not powerful, an actual but it's not weapon. made for it's not battle. Made for, yeah. mm-hmm. Okay. That let's, do, let's do two, then. Um, Sorry. So I'm rolling fight. It also probably adds to your armor value or something, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Probably gives you another armor or something. I think that'd be reasonable. That, yeah, that makes more sense. For my shield. Character. I say two. So fight. Ooh, no go. Uh, no go. Um, but let's see what's going on here. Yeah, I ain't got much to work with. There's no other like scene no. aspects, huh? I should have created some. I mean, that's you okay. could create, like, the ground is wet. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, like, De- definitely the bridge is, well. is like, slip, slippery yeah. stone. I've already rolled for mm. what I'm doing. At least on the on the bridge itself. Um, um, slippery when wet, thank you. <laughs> you've also got, like, the wagon. Maybe you're going to, you're trying to push him into the wagon wheel. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, you know, I might just, uh, I might just fail. You can, you can invoke elements of your character, too. Yeah, I was looking at them. There's not a lot. Okay, so you just don't. Yeah, I think uh, I got a total was a minus one. Should have had that milk stout, man. I know. It, just, it makes Let's everybody want to just morning. fight. Just want to brawl. Let's take it easy this morning. Huh? I was taking it easy this morning. Yeah, fail brawl. is just to, that you don't do damage, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, okay. and that's fine. Mm-hmm. 
Um, He's not okay, really Yurik, uh, uh, Ash, you got the last action. Um, I'm going to uh, sort of step. Is this bird still up in my face? Or? Mm-hmm. I mean, you can you can move around. Yeah, I'm gonna try and step up just a little bit past. Um, yeah, it's like anywhere in the same zone you can move. Maybe so. Oh, <clears throat> somehow the apple got all the way up here on the bridge now. What? Damn, no, how did yeah. it get there? Yeah, there's a little. <laughs> that it's gonna be a, like glitter. It's we're just gonna see apples for the rest of this campaign. <laughs> Which will make me so happy. <clears throat> Uh, and I'm, I'm basically gonna try and crouch and, and basically <laughs> push out sort of so from my hands a bit of like a, just only? like a blast, Fetid. just a hot like fire blast Fetid. to try and basically move, like push everyone like to the sides. Okay. Yeah, so less so about doing damage and more so about, like... Right, I'm like, basically trying to, like, use just, like... Force, push, clear the force, way, yeah. force push um, <coughs> and clear the way. Okay. Would you say this could create an advantage? I would say... Yeah, yeah, I would say this would be to create an advantage. Uh, basically knock everyone off balance and out of the way. I will... Versus cover coming in. Ooh, nice. So that's, a, that's a seven. Dang. Oof. I'm not sure what I'm rolling against you here. Just because it's like has to do with positioning, I'm maybe just fight. Well, he he was creating an advantage to move people out of the way, so <laughs> right. causing off yeah, balance. Athletics, so, perhaps, yeah. So it seems like it would a plus a seven is like a plus two like boxed scene in play, I, right? Mm-hmm. Likely. Yeah, but but he it's might, but it's a contest. Be. I need to roll something in in, in opposition okay. to his seven that he just got. Um, you could roll. So, so it's like, how, what, what is a defense uh, against this type of roll? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, fight or athletics or yeah. Like I think I'm just gonna do fight because it, it, it's kind of like you're trying to like do like battlefield positioning. Right. Fight right? athletics. Uh, so I still got a four. So, so he succeeded yeah, with he style. Succeed with style. Use. What do you uh, think? Uh, styling on the enemies. Fiery. Yeah, with two fan folks. Fiery. Uh, um, Wait, what does succeed with style do? Does that mean? They'll have two invokes. Light our three. path. Oh. Mm. Oh, I get another. Yeah. Light like the this. way. Mm-hmm. Basically, light the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Light the way. Good job, Sophie. Light the path was bad. How would I invoke that later? <laughs> um, if, say, we were like trying to make a roll to get to run across, so I see it. I, and then we'd be I like, like do, the, do the, the same thing. Oh, mm-hmm. Light of way would also be the So some fire. Oh, that's light of way. Through, I got light light right. way. They're getting out of the way. Slap of shit. I mean, ground of feet. Because I can. Oh yeah, yeah too. Please. Well, who's going next? Um, while you're, while you're I need that. to go <laughs> before the end of the round because I skipped my. Turn. Yeah, all the now flames. Conveniently, we've I think moved this is. Some people out I think of the this way. is the perfect Ooh, instance. Yes. So I feel like I right should just time. go yeah. get on the wagon. <laughs> yeah. Do it. Now that is everybody out of the way except the bird. The bird and this one guy towards the back. They oh. need to be run over That's by Yeah, horses. they're about to get run over. Well, I'm at back here. Oh, yeah, it, it, the bird it's not so it. much that it's specific we, about who's out of the way, it's yeah, the fact yeah, that we've like, got this advantage that the, the there's, path is lit. I'm you know? gonna, yeah, it's I'll lit. run back and take in the reins. Nice. Yeah, and you still have your, like, driver that's there yeah. if you want to tell him to, Whoa! like... Go! Yep. <laughs> do you want to command people? Um... Or do you want to not try that? Yeah, I might say we're moving out. <laughs> Transform and roll out. Um, we don't have time for this. Autobots yeah. roll out. You but can use a do it inspirationally? Even though you don't have it. Yeah. Well, I think what Josh is getting at is probably either that you say, like, you give up your turn so that that guy can do something. Is that, is that what you're saying? Or... There's still not people on the... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I was just saying that there's an there. The driver is still sitting right, in yeah, the seat. That yeah. if you wanted to tell him like hit yeah. the reins and like the horses will start moving, you don't have to get up there and physically do That's that yourself. True. Mm-hmm. Um, I might try to knock someone off the bridge. 
because they're all lined up over there. I was thinking about doing that with the person who's right up in Furlow's face. Mm -hmm. Big T, go up. You want to do that? Cross the bridge! (laughs) I'm going to... That, that guy just needs to know I'm talking to him. <laughs> Cross that bridge! And then, what would you... Hmm, yeah, I just want to... I guess I want to, like, sweep the leg and knock this uh, guy uh, off. Athletics, maybe? Or? Yeah, I think fight. Would That's be a fight. fight. Fighter sure. athletics, yeah, either one. Fight athletics. Plus four. Plus five. Oh, big Tom. Big T. Oh. No, it's not Big Tom. It's uh, it's just a goon. Oh. But, but I have a plus four right now. As well. no way, a five. Mm. So it's or it even. I I'm one over you right now. Could invoke something. Well, what was your? You got a plus I, one on the dice. Oh, and have a plus four actually, even. I didn't calculate that right. I have a four total. You're you're correct. So we are even. Um. That succeeds, hey, the right? game is almost over, though. I'm going to spend the paint token. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that okay. makes sense. Do it. <laughs> um, yeah. Spend it on guard? On guard. Okay. Or and I would guardy. say, you, yeah. Think if, guardy. If that makes sense. I, I think on guard makes okay. sense, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so you send him off balance and over the rail. <laughs> Ah! Yeah. You say something about yeah. oh, we're, ooh, You could also invoke. Well, 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 you could also invoke green. slippery. Slippery wet. Ah! Yes. Nice. Ah! <laughs> yes. Over the rail. Yes. <laughs> Wait, where did that come from? Oh, shit. Slippery when wet. Yeah. That was just a That's situational. The scene. That's what I was looking for input. last round. Was oh. a situational. We made it on your turn. Yeah, you asked yeah. for it and then we made it. And you were like, I just failed. I just. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. You made it on my turn. Yeah. He was quiet. Yeah, we were I'll trying to help you. Man. To that's great. <laughs> Sorry. You created a situation. Uh, okay, so that's all of you guys, right? I didn't even know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. How slippery? Um. <laughs> How slippery is milk? Not. It's thick. Viscous with two C's. Viscous is thick. It's like butter. Is it ropey? Wet butter. This bird's attacking you from behind, Ash. Wet, wet, buttery, ropey, brown bean. (laughs) Ooh, this music's cool. Slap shit. Mm, Are we fighting Dracula? Alright, I got a five attack (laughs) against you. So you gotta roll and defend somehow. Okay. Could use your... Hello, Your invocation um, shield thing. Yeah. Uh, I will try to uh, defend with the invocation. So I got a plus one. Plus your invocation. Uh, plus uh, my invocation, so that'd be five. I'm going to spend a fate point uh, for uh, hell. I'm just going to do... I'm going to just evoke the fact that I'm Gifted. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. and basically, um, put a, a location for that. Do the same thing, since the fuse is already lit. I'm going to basically make up a, a wall of fire behind me. Okay, yeah, you just got this, like, fire, this, like, whirling fire shield thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. Um, that's fantastic. Thomas. <laughs> I know, it's such a great image. Thomas trying to attack you. Maybe it's... With the rain hitting Big Tom. It. Big Tom. Big T's. Alright. What do you got? A four fight. I got a seven. Fuck <laughs> uh, yeah. Dang. Yes. yes. Dang. Get crushed. Um, get, get wrecked. Okay. You have your thing Blast that you can invoke you against you. me. Maybe it's wrecked. He's got oh, me off balance. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that. Plus I actually am going to do that. You don't have to pay. It's a boost. Oh, right. It was a boost. I'm doing it. <laughs> and then it's a tie. Mm-hmm. Wait, you had a four? She had a seven. That's plus two. Hmm. Did you have seven? Oh, to my four. Six. To you seven. can invoke something else though, and pay. And 
slippery when we went. There was a plan to everybody. True, true, true. I'm off balance and a slippery yeah, sure. when we went. I'll go for it. Why are you helping him? I on balance, off balance. Why do we roll a 17 on the gravity when we help the GM? <laughs> <laughs> this is the tricky the tricky time. territory that I don't quite understand about fate is like could you guys just keep spending tokens back and forth as long as you have something you can't invoke the same thing twice you can't yeah. be like I'm also doing slippery one might again but yeah, if it's worth it to you though yeah that I, I think mean, that's what it comes down that's, to is like gamble yeah, that's kind of like the fight part mm -hmm. of it that's that cool. is I'm going sucker <laughs> <laughs> no okay yeah I'll, I'll give it to you he is so um, so he does not land his punch on you. It's a, it's a steady back and yeah. And uh, the we last. We have to be cool. Just yeah. you yeah. for later. These guys are just out. They're pushed out of the way. Flag days. Um, I don't know how I should handle that. If it's like an obstacle that they need to overcome to get around it. Yeah, it could be that way. Um. Yeah, that's a different approach that we could have used. Instead of creating an advantage, it could have been an obstacle. Like, it could have been a barrier. Mm -hmm. And then the, their difficulty to pass it would have been whatever his role was. If that would be preferable. Then I, mean, I think I rolled over a seven on that? Yeah. That so makes, they would have to, like, more would they have that to roll, make more sense. Would they have to roll, like, pass mm -hmm. that twice, then? To, like, basically no, I think once. we would get rid of those, because instead of it being a... An advantage that you created. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a, a barrier. Or a barrier for them. Yeah, yeah it's just a different have to mechanic. Roll past it once to get past it, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and the DC is a seven, so I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna try to do that with this guy. Okay. I can do that. Um, Corbin. That makes more sense. Uh, it does. I don't yeah. continue well, to control that. You know, that's mm -hmm. just like I guess just part of the scene. It could be athletics. athletics yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, or in, in, I don't know, maybe endurance. Um, oof. Yeah. I don't have enough to succeed. Um, I'm at a three, four right now. Um, okay, this one three, four. No, no, I this think he's just gonna take the fail. Gotcha, <laughs> he's melody. in the background. So if he fails, <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't succeed. Oh, I love this it. song. Mm -hmm. You're doing yeah, great! And the goon guy is just not gonna roll for it, so. Um, the gods have ruled, he shall prevail! <laughs> he's just back there being an asshole the whole time. Yurika got a three attack against you from this goon. The last goon down here. That is a plus five. Okay. Yeah, that's, that is not God hitting that damn. I, You're just laughing at these people. Yeah, <laughs> well, not, damn. Not, like, embarrassingly. He wants them to still feel good about themselves. But yeah. He's smiling. That's so thoughtful. That was good. It was a good hit. I mean, it wasn't it was wasn't good enough. Yeah, but and, uh, it was really good. Oh, 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 that almost made my hand numb. I mean, not really, but, you know, could have. I got a... Uh, arrow coming at you for a plus five. Um, I can use survival concentrating? to defend you... against um, to defend against it's any uses of, oh no, wait. Three against gunfire and other such attacks, but only when you're huddled down in defensible position. Never mind. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I should have taken athletics. I don't. I'm just rolling with nothing. What was your total? Five. Oof. Five. That was. At least you didn't take survival Bumped twice it. like I did. Like an idiot. <laughs> I took it in my slot too. Ugh, slot right round. That's not good at all. You can, like, you was, can really survive. No, I feel like I was high on um, speed, but I wasn't. Why did that happen? Alright. I only got one token like too. Sacrifice. You took survival twice in your character sheet? We yes. are very close to I need to yeah. double survival. I'm going to use it, but just to mitigate. I did um, know, because I I'm bound to the time. wood, I kind of sense it coming, if that's cool. Absolutely, yeah. The wood of the arrow? Sense the arrow, the mm -hmm. wood of this arrow. Ooh, Ooh, it's cool. as it flies. Bound Ooh. to the wood. I'm like, Whoo. But it's, it's sorry, still, it still nails me, because okay. um, you had a five. Yeah. That just got me down to a zero. Um, okay. Um, all right. But I'm good on, on stress. So I had weapon three, so it was three. 
but he rolled a f he got a five would be oh okay more, five right? five I didn't realize that that's what you were saying okay yeah, yeah so five total yeah I took mm -hmm. five stress okay um, as the arrow <laughs> struck against my woody wooden cool. skin that's it for me um, let's let's do one more round and see what we can do with that I think we're okay. we're pretty much wrapped up here so furla okay I am um, I'm whistling for this guy to get the horses moving and if mm -hmm. it's cool um, can I roll with his yeah animal, animal yeah he's a, he's a plus three ooh yeah so he got a five Whoa. okay um, yeah I think that's enough like it, I think it was probably against a flat number and that that a five is definitely good enough. Do I need to roll to get onto the catch hold of a moving carriage, perhaps? Um, if you want to do something else, no. if you want to do something else with your action, no. Otherwise, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, I hop onto a horse. Okay. Cool. <laughs> what, Legolas style? Yes. Uh -huh. And I and I like to picture it that my what the fuck my, my, my arm becomes makes kind of no the sense. opposite direction of how you get over. What over in the yeah. heck? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's I, obviously in in reverse. Uh, yeah. I watched that so many times just trying to understand how that even <laughs> how the physics physics of that scene works. No, there aren't any. It's just great. Physics. He's on it. Down. Let's move on. I think. <laughs> yeah. As as the horses Legolas are hurtling towards me, I reach my arm out and it becomes weirdly viney and it uh, grabs hold of the ropes and yanks me. Awesome. Spider-Man. Cool. Yeah, 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 they yeah, on top for reasons. And then we're... Are we past these guys or are we... Uh, well, you guys are certainly moving. So, um... Yeah. Well, Navius, it's your turn next and the carriage is, like, barreling down on you now. Yeah, let's get on the wagon. Um... All right. Can are I... you doing anything else, or are you just getting on the wagon? If anything, I would be trying to do something to help Ash also get on the wagon. <laughs> You're gonna have to dust me. <laughs> I just want there to be a work together. That's all I need in the game. <laughs> yeah. You can create, like, but you can create, create an advantage. advantage. You can create an advantage. Yeah. That's that's the okay. work together. Here. <laughs> But but I do feel like if you want to do that, then you need to give me some sort of a like athletics or some kind of a check yeah. to to get up onto the carriage as well, because you're you're doing a lot with your turn. So, or you could make like a survival check potentially, like a notice to see like how you could get up on it better. Like, and there's also like you open, guys. Open door, like, to the carriage or something. Maybe I'll just try to make sure, create an advantage to help other people get on the wagon, and it's okay if I have to <laughs> commandeer to Kalima's wagon. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, don't worry. Kalima's going to pick up everyone who's left over. Like, I think We're it's more important to me that everybody else gets yeah. on. Go, go. Because I'm, go. you know, like, I have no idea what's going ah. on down. <laughs> mm -hmm. By the river. These motherfuckers on the bridge. We need all our ducks chilling out, hanging out, see like her legs. All right, so you're creating an advantage. Yeah. Just drunk on milk. Yeah. Go for it. Open the carriage door. Or we're leaving. Yurik, you're on deck. Yup. Something like that, where you're like alerting everybody that we're we're out. Yeah, I'm not sure in what way. Yeah, I guess I'm just raising the saddle up. Yeah. Autobahn. Did you did you succeed? I missed that. Um, I have a plus like a two, and I don't know what I'm adding it to, but I have at least a plus mm. two, so probably. What do you think, Josh? Yeah. What's the skill being used? Um. Yeah, really like rapport or yeah. something like that. So, mm -hmm. Plus two. Saddle up. All right, so Yurik is uh, doing like one back. of those 300 moves where he turns around and like bashes this guy into the wheel that's back about to shield bash, <laughs> like nice. underneath the wagon as it's basically is what that. I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, so he's making a fight attack, and I got a plus four, um, and I'm gonna invoke uh, slippery when wet. Mm. To make it a six. Well, I rolled all pluses. Ooh. 
And my dude has a plus three, so I'm at a seven right now. This guy just. Um, I know. I just. I, I, I rolled the best that I could roll. Right before it hits him in the face, an image catches his mind, and it's the iconic milksmith image on the outside of my cast iron. Mm, so I'm mm, going to invoke everyone knows the milksmith. Yes! Yes! And yeah, he's, he's like, he's distracted. Oh, oh, I, I know, know that is milk. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's like, the, it's like yes, Kalima's yes, face yes, chewing yes, on a yes, big yes, yes, of yes, grass. Yes. So, uh, uh, excellent. So that's a total of an eight. Uh, yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. You knock him back into the wheel, and, and yeah, he just gets fucking ripped out of the carriage. <laughs> <It's> totally, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone Fuck knows yeah. the milksmith. So the, the image, you have, you have like your... And then you're going back to, your, uh, to get to uh, Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. On the inside of it, that's the best part. <laughs> you're going back to get your cart? <laughs> yeah, I'm situated. headed. I'm, headed uh, I'm jumping on, and I'm whipping the reins, and I'm telling... Jimothy and Tay to get on. All right, you're uh, running back and Clem is just like Tay. Tay's been inside the wagon the whole time. She doesn't care about the quest. That's her trouble. Is actually yeah. eating one of these guys' yeah. foods. <laughs> she doesn't care to find. All right, that's enough. All right, Alexi. Jim- Jimothy's been chilling out over here anyway. Just yeah, just kicked up uh, smoking some weasels, Bane. <laughs> God damn it, Jimothy! Jimothy! Damn you, Jimothy! Not doing shit. What are you doing? Uh, man, I don't. I mean, I the guess enemies I could, are down. Or are you just hopping on the wagon? I could run up and like maybe cleave some people, but who's left really? We got the bird. You got, you got Big Tom. You got the bird. These two guys are are like stuck behind this. Um, this I'll, barrier, I'll, I'll, I'll but the barrier was created to try to. I mean, I kind of want to know who the who hired these people, but we. I don't know if we can quite get that from them uh, before I'll, we leave. I'll do a takedown on Big T's. Not before you leave, but. Uh, I mean, you guys are are clearly beating them. If you if you get them to like concede rather than just r- running off. Then... What if we like grab one of them and can I, ask what, some questions as we ride away, and then eventually. What about grappling them? Yeah. What, what's the rules for that? In fate, if you grapple them. Yeah, you you can grapple. Um, Endurance. And uh, yeah, it's a contest where we roll against each other. And okay. yeah, Keith nailed it. It's either endurance or athletics. Well, I'm going to use endurance and I'll run up and I'll endurance. grapple the guy to the ground. It's... Okay, which one? Big T's! Oh man, you're going to try to grapple a grappler. Oh, is he? Oh, he's, he's a like a pit fighter. Yeah. He is, yeah. Uh. I mean, it's not, it, his, not that his skill is like anything crazy. That much. It's I'll, maybe I'll only <laughs> just tiny, barely slightly. I'll do it. I'll. I'll um, can I push him up against the flames? To try to like. If you want to. Yeah, I want to. I mean, he's, his back is against the wall on the, the flames, so. So are you trying? Are you trying to harm him, or are you trying to like, uh, yeah, gra- like grapple him? The way I see it is if if he's a grappler and he's gonna try to find footing, but he can't if he's backed up against a wall of flames, where he can't really like put much of a stance. He yeah, can't really like that against him. That's that's how I'm seeing it. I'm gonna push him up so he's already not necessarily off ba- balance, but can't really find good footing because of the wall of flames okay. right in front of him. Okay, but the that intention, yeah, the intention, the intention is, is, to, is not to, to harm him. It's subdue to, him. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> Throw him to the ground, and I guess we can question him. Okay. <laughs> Taylor, how many times have you dropped the dice? That might be That's everywhere. I like this that roll, though. You want to use some other dice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You're like a Heroes Guild kid tonight. Just can't keep the no, dice on the I table. Got it. I got it. <laughs> just, yeah. just slam them down really quick. <laughs> before, <laughs> quick, <laughs> quick before they jump out of your hands. <laughs> Woo! Hurry, hurry. Oh, all right. So like that. Uh, 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 five. Uh, Plus so invoking two. if I need it. Okay. <laughs> before I just throw them out of there. Uh, I got a four. So I don't even need it. And thus, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll spend the token so I can succeed okay. in style. Okay, good, because I was going to spend a token too, so no, uh, no I won't. Do I, do I need to spend it for this since there's still a free invoke or no? Or is it because... 
Well, the path is lit. We kind of nixed as an advantage. It's Oh, yeah, okay. that's the wall that I'm. But I think you so can invoke it. It's a situational aspect yeah. in that it's a fire yeah. wall. Yeah, spinning the token. Done. That was super fun. Okay, cool. Um, that succeeded. Sweet. Uh, Ash has our last turn. So Ash you've is got... in the corner, butting up against the fence of the. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he's just staring up, <laughs> just walking, uh, trying to walk off the bridge with the fences in the way. Well, I think your wagon is moving past these guys. Yeah, it's going quick. Now the question is, what's going on with your two allies, your three allies that are along for the ride? <laughs> <laughs> Bird. Yeah, that eagle was. I I got like. Chills. Two wand flashbacks. <laughs> Where did Eric go? I knew there was gonna be trouble. One. Should we just? Oh. I think we'll just call it. You, got, you guys are. Yeah. You guys are blasting by. We'll figure out what happened with. Um, with Big Tom, and if you guys manage to get You're him wrestled, mm -hmm. wrestled into the carriage, or um, the big question is, do you what guys know say? who hired these guys or not? Right? Um, I, I owe it all to Jimothy personally. No, I think he was the MVP. No, 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 <laughs> no. All right, you want us? Do our sign off. Yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in for the first episode. Uh, we'll be running this basically every Friday for the next, I don't know, maybe two months or something. Yeah. Um, tonight was just just the slightest taste of what is to come, but expect um, horror elements and uh, and survival in the frozen north. With a wacky cast of characters, not only PCs <laughs> but NPCs. Um, NPCs upon NPCs. Yeah. Additional PCs. Thanks, that's, Kirby. That's all I got. It's a good first episode, guys. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Kirby. There will be so great much more. first guest. Yes. <laughs> Make sure to give us a follow before you go, and we're gonna raid Welcome Party RPG, uh, which is uh, close to my heart because I'm playing on a, in every other Tuesday. Uh, in a game with them, uh, an Eclipse Phase crazy sci-fi game. We just did our first episode this last week, and it was wild. We are jumping around in all digital space and flying around. I'm playing a Wheels, the pilot, nice. the, the crazy drug animal <clears throat> pilot, um, <laughs> who's nice. terrifying all the other players. Um, so make sure to give them some love when we get there, and uh, catch you all next week, same time, same digi place. Outpost. <laughs> <laughs>